so let me ask you a question. How many of you had friends that were your mom's friend's kid that you had to call cousin and then they tried to act funny when you wanted them to play with it? Because they were cousins. Hold on. Wait. Where's wait, this wait. question coming from? I'm so this confused. Really Alabama. Like how <laughs> how do you how do you connect the dots? No 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 no. Listen, pay attention. This is your mother's friend's kid. My mother's friend. So no blood relation. Kid. No blood relation whatsoever. But you grow up. Family friends. As cousins. That, that's some white people shit, man. Yeah, what? I don't no, understand that's American that shit. No? That, you never had that? No. You never had cousins? No. no. Oh, wow. No, man. Oh, no. I either had blood cousins. <laughs> <laughs> I either had cousins or people who weren't. They were just friends. Well, that's, I mean, that's kind of what I'm saying. Except this usually it was like your parents. There were never parents. cousins, though. Oh, no, well, then that's not what I'm saying. Okay. Um, did you have co- you had you had South? You had to have cousins that weren't cousins. Bro, my mom's one of ten. I had enough cousins without oh, calling you by cousin. That's probably true. All right, Dante, and you didn't have any cousins that weren't cousins either, Joe. I have real cousins when I was in Hong Kong. One of them was real hot. I thought as a child. Mm-hmm. I still think she's pretty hot. I don't think that's right. <laughs> <laughs> No, so look, I had co- I'll allow it. No, I had I'll I, allow I, it. I, I had the Alabama, will the Alabama like, she's like wait, she's she's my wait, my grandfather's brother's daughter. Yeah, no, but listen, I had I had I mean that's it's relation. I'm I'm not here to do the the, the do the carry the one on that. But like here's the I have first cousins that if I didn't know they were first cousins, I'd one hundred percent sling it their way. Actually, I mean, yeah, even if I sling it, yeah, sling it anyway. <laughs> I think I think the rule is just don't have a fucking kid, right? Is that the rule? Pinkerton? Hey, <laughs> listen, I've told y'all before, there ain't no limbs on this family. <laughs> I'm, even, I'm even I'm even I'm, I'm even is okay. Is that a white claw slogan? I'm even okay. Honestly, Lord, no. I'm even okay if you have a kid as long as you don't need assistance to pay for it. As long as I don't have to pay for it. As long as you're willing well, to deal with the repercussions. For it. They're they're paying for it with their job. You know what I mean? None of it is like some kind of disabled thing. Thing, it's still a human joke. Yeah. Wow! <laughs> and his name is Anakin. <laughs> <laughs> Anakin, Anakin. Um, so just you and me, Dante. All right, all right. So, did you ever have one that you were like, "Look, stop saying we're cousins right now." It was cute before, but now I need you to play with this. <laughs> what did he? Is what it, did he out? say? Is it did out? He, no, it not out. Oh, okay. <laughs> That was good. Um, so, I mean, oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> His face just lit up. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I was in foster care, so I had. Very sad. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, I'm working on me. <laughs> yeah, 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 nothing wrong with that. <laughs> um, but we, you know, my foster mom had grandkids were all my age so that that was one of those weird things because they all called me <laughs> no seriously lift up on the back of it a little bit because it's like there you there go, go there you go they all call me you know like big cousin or uncle oh they called you big cuz <laughs> 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 but it, it was weird because it's like you know they weren't unattractive humans mm-hmm. it was just it, it, land dwelling <laughs> mammals yep i get it it was weird to me in that regard, just thinking like, uh, well, she is cute, and we are blossoming. Whoa! <laughs> at so, that point, so when you walked in the room during these family functions, <laughs> did you hear? <laughs> that was I awful. Felt that. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get better. <laughs> I'm gonna have to practice a lot. <laughs> but um, but as far as cousins, just because I, I moved a lot, uh-huh. you know, I was I wasn't like in Detroit where you know those types of relationships would have been. Oh, y'all went and chased the water. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, my my brothers, who they all have a different dad than me. They all have the same dad. Dude, samesies. <laughs> Twins. <laughs> um, they're, I guess, half-sister, whatever the fuck they are. They're half-brothers yeah. to uh, you. No, that broke my heart when they're, they're fucking cunt sisters. Oh, you're saying and, they're half-sisters? Yeah. Oh, so you're like a you're, you're, what is it called when you throw the rock in the water and it jumps? Skipping, skipping stone. You're a skipping stone away. 
Yeah. I that's so oh no, but so but, that's but they're that's, cute they're real so cute. that's that's okay so let me let me explain it to the <laughs> listeners in case they weren't tracking so your mom marries someone else that someone else has kids with your mom the someone else has kids with someone else so there's no blood relation but th- I guess they're like double step they're like yeah they're brother, like double brother, step yeah, sister. Yeah. So they're like kind of your sister, but definitely not, not your blood. sister, dude. I, I slang think, it. I think this is legitimately the whole that that's the whole Pornhub scenario. If it's <laughs> double step sister, double dude, step. Dude, that shit is taking the world by storm. They literally put that on every video. Though. It's crazy. Yeah. Um, but they're like, they're, I'm like, like one's Asian. <laughs> <laughs> It's step, Bobby. It's step. <laughs> yeah, but the, both the parents are white. I saw them. They came in to check on them. <laughs> hey, well, you know, you know, the kids definitely adopted because two whites don't make a wong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Jesus, <fuck. laughs> Where you at, Joe? Come on, let me get some more no. <laughs> <laughs> And That's the win for tonight. <laughs> I don't know, man. That last one, that that Scarlett Johansson. I listen back to that. That was still, that's still <laughs> that was that was great. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there was a there was a, a young lady that I remember. Was, her name was Tara. She was my mom's friend. Sounds about right. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> and um, trailer. No rancher. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and um, that's that, that's a that's a trailer that's a, with a basement. A, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. That's a, that's a planted trailer. <laughs> They took the wheels off. Well, you know, a mobile home without wheels just a home, Chris. That's right. I'm um, familiar. It's just a rancher. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, uh, Tara got it. And, and uh, you know, she, she was, she, you know, her and I have a history. <laughs> Hope she's doing well. Um, <laughs> took some convincing, though. You know? I mean, I've heard that before. Like, like one of my, two of my friends are a dude and a chick. They've lived together forever, but they have no fucking interest in each other. That's they've been, wild. They've been friends so long. They're like, yeah, it's just like... Wow. It's not even out of boredom? That's wild. No. Huh? Wow. wow. I don't know. Uh, yeah, yeah I don't I, know when, I first, when I was first friends with them, I was like, that's crazy. That's no way. But like, I've known them for years now. There's are they in zero s- interest in each other. Are that's they crazy. in other relationships? Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, it, here and there, like anybody yeah, okay. else. Not in permanent relationships. Okay. So tonight we have Joe KW. Yeah. We have Dante the Destroyer. What's up? We have Marilyn Phil. What's up? Marilyn Phil, thank you for your service. We have um <laughs> Chris Figgerton if you're not. I have a Nostromo <laughs> captain's hat on. It's from the alien movie. You get eight you get eight in the in the fucking yeah. tunnel. Yeah, I get eaten in the tunnel. Captain what's Dallas. up, party people? Um and what? What's up? So you got I something think, right off grip? No, I, I think oh. we should. <laughs> the, the people have no idea what the fuck we're talking about. Yeah, we should mount wood. <laughs> Stop right there. We should mount wood to the belly, legs to the wood, and then the countertop to the wood. Wood to the oh, okay, like a so another make a layer, whole fucking table, like another layer that's stable, and then put the fucking countertop on top of it. Okay, I was thinking, um, about, I was about, okay. thinking about it the whole fucking time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, and actually, that was one of my ideas I mentioned. No. Um, Welcome to the uh, this old house. <laughs> yeah. nerd I got an idea. I got an idea for the basement. Ba- ba- what happened? What happened? It's booby trapped. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I'm fucking loaded that bitch with <laughs> vitamin water and Mountain Dew. I said we're just flexing over here. Go, no, that's for everybody. That's why I bought a whole case. Oh. And and the dye do also. Yeah. Um. So yeah, as soon as I finished, you know, the lighting project for Bobby, he came up with another one for me. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be fair, I tried to keep you out of this. Laura didn't trust me. Um, I mean, I went if, as soon as you told me that I'm like, I'm, you can't do that by yourself. I went. What this project? You, you know how you are. You're I'm too impatient. impatient. I'm too yeah. impatient. And you'd be like, ah, it's fine. <laughs> nah, yeah. I'll just until I'll, the next skull and, and the next skull fest. On it. I'll and just spray fucking, the spray paint will hold it together. <laughs> fucking, there's, there's enough. <laughs> It'll drip between it. It's gonna it's gonna bond it. Four hundred pound <laughs> fucking slab of granite is gonna crush some people. Yeah. Jeez. Um, I got the opportunity to. Uh, well. <laughs> Yeah, so this is going to come out Thursday. This will come out after the review. But the Patreon the folks, or the Patreon folks, have it. I had the uh, opportunity to look at the Takara Tomi Hound. It's not terrible. Uh, it's no, not it's, as bad as you think. No, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. And, 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 yeah, and I, no, 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 no. Okay. Aesthetically, it's I haven't great. Played, I haven't played Aesthetically, it's great. No, everything else. It, it broke. <laughs> it's broken. I broke it. Really? Oh yeah. Who's is it? Wow. Uh, East Robert Coast D? Toys. Shout out to East Coast Toys. Oh. Yeah. I've, I've seen several of them that are broken. 
Yeah. The same place? Yeah, no, the, yeah tailgate. What did, yeah, it's, it's some big flat piece. Yep, it's like tailgate. What did you, uh, so this is not yours? What did, no. Oh. What was East Coast Coast's response? Uh, I have it. I have it. Uh, it's going to come out in the review. It but, says, uh, well, okay. shit, he cool. Bobby. He was cool. No, he was cool. Okay. He was super cool. He was okay. super cool. He was, I recorded it just in case he was going to be cool, so I could be like, look, guys, I told you he was cool. And then if he was a dickhead guy, I could just erase it. <laughs> um, or I'd give it to Patreon. <laughs> Ten dollars, <laughs> um, content's content. But yeah, so uh, but it's terrible. It's really, really bad. Like wow. it's it, it, it's sculpted beautifully. It's aesthetically very appealing. But that's the only thing it has going it, for it. It has the weight of a Gundam kit. Yes, it has the weight of a model. Yep, I agree. Wow. I agree. Um, Not that weight has you know. Right, it has no value. value. It has no but, like, inherent it, it, it value. It's just how sturdy something is, though. Yeah, you and, can't and, have something really something light and really sturdy. It's just like. What did I? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I, I talk. I'm going to be talking about this thing for the next month. I'm sure. Um, let's People go. Be mad at you for the next month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went this way last time. Let's go the other way. Chris Pinkerton, how was your nerd week? Uh, not a lot of nerding actually. I, uh, first of the year back to actual back to work. I was on the road all week. Um, I'm actually on the road. Oh, man, where the fuck did Mezco have you going now? <laughs> Mezco doesn't pay the bills, Bobby. I don't know if you realize that or not. That's not what the internet told me. Yeah. Well, uh, the internet tells me lots of things about you too. <laughs> Thank you for your service. <laughs> it was very brave of you to lend your, uh, your my hat. apparatus to to him for his leg. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Phil came in here with a medical boot on. I told him to take his shoes off at the door. So. <laughs> I, I left my shoe at the door. It confused the fuck out of me. I yeah, saw Dante come in after me. <laughs> I, I saw one shoe. I was like, what? Why is there one shoe just sitting at the door? We're going to get to Maryland's Phil feet, Scott. I'm going to bring up a few things. <laughs> <laughs> I watched the uh, um, sequel to um, uh, Fantastic Beats, the Crimes of Oh uh, yeah, Runwald. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I thought it was. Sucks. I thought it was a. F- it was a fun movie. Yeah, yeah. was it better My wife than the first like one it. or no? I thought it was better than the first uh. one, but she didn't. She didn't. It didn't live. It ends on a cliffhanger, and she didn't know that going in. So she's like, I didn't know they're gonna make more of them. Oh yeah, keep yeah. going. See, that's how I feel. You're gonna make like five of them supposedly. Of course, unless no, it, it, unless, it, more than that. unless it's The Witcher. Oh, we're gonna get to it that. Didn't end on the cliffhanger. Yeah, I, I heard, but many people tell me that it did. The, so, the arc ends. Mm. So I watched the movies that made us for Dirty Dancing and yeah, right. <laughs> and uh, Home Alone today. Yeah, what'd you think? There, it was good. There the was writer good. is Baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She said, but she's like, I'm, I'm not Baby. What about like, them? Oh, she looked nothing like her. What about <laughs> them eyebrows, man? <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, and the Home Alone was was good. Uh, you know, I wish they had talked about how. Fame made Macaulay Culkin slip into a <laughs> drug-induced coma for 10 years. But, well, he's good now. Uh, yeah, he's good now. He was hanging out with Michael Jackson and Marilyn Manson. That's wild. Yeah. Yeah. What did they say when he tried to get near the uh, the chimp, do you think? Stay away from the cage. <laughs> <laughs> I had I had probably one of the worst per- figure experiences I've had in a long time recently. Let's hear it. So I bought a uh, Mafex Spider-Man. Um, it's a comic version. It's actually got like the comic paint on it. Mm-hmm. It's really exciting. Strong handshake it. on them. So I knew, <laughs> I knew from from the previous version that came out, um, Chuck had broken a hand on. So I was being super careful with it. These were the thinnest pegs I have ever seen in my mm. life. <laughs> Thinnest I have oh ever seen. God. One of them, I li- I I had put, I swapped the hand out. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I had swapped, the, I had swapped the hands out, and I I just moved it a slight bit, and I looked down, and it it was broken. And while I typed Ami Ami an email, the other one broke. Wow! I was fucking. F- I mean, I threw this thing across the room and tore it into pieces. Yet all the pieces popped back on. But Except the, the fucking hands. I mean, these are the literally the smallest hand pegs I've ever seen <laughs> in my life. Um, they're sending Preach. me replacements. They've actually already shipped them. Of course, it's coming on the slowest way it can come. Yeah, so. but like, yeah. what's the... Like, well, that's nice that they... I, and I don't know what they're sending. Maybe they're sending me the whole arms. But Hobby, that- Hobby Link sent me a uh, lower legs for a cyborg. Like he, they sent me the whole pelvis and lower legs. Yeah, so they just tear those figures apart and, yeah. and ship out. It's, yeah, but, but if it's a design flaw, is it really going to help? It, you? I, that's the thing. I don't even want it. But yeah, because it's just and it's a hundred dollar figure, right. right? So anyway, and that's I'm pretty lucky. I don't normally have any issues with stuff. I'm pretty 
docile. Giant hands, non notwithstanding. I'm normally pretty docile with my with my collectibles. She's just super gloom hands in place. <sighs> I don't know what I'm, I don't know. I'm just it's in, in literally a pose in a box. that you can live with. Couldn't be bothered with it. I got some new mythical legions, Bobby. I saw. I you actually had, opened them too. You got a yeah. I know. What are you going to do with the other ones now? <laughs> oh my gosh! How did they know. jump ahead? Uh, That's kind of fucked up. What do you mean the ones that are on the shelf? No, you got new ones. So yes. you got new ones. Yes. You got old ones in the box. Yes. You have opened the new ones. Uh-huh. Old ones are still in the box. Correct. Cause That's I kind of fucked up. I don't want those characters. I bought I bought <laughs> yeah. the all in wave, and oh, I'm just, I see. I'm just I see. yeah, because that way you just get everything. So you and got I'll a, them all. you got uh you got stock jaw, <laughs> right? Stock I got I got their got, trap jaw homage and their uh, panther homage. Yeah, um, the, uh, homage. the panther. I'm like eh, yeah. Lock jaw is surprisingly cool. Like yeah, it's it kind of like a really reimagine. Cool. Lock, I, I like it's, it. it's lock jaw though. But the uh, the big um, the um, ogre. The Cyclops Ogre is probably my favorite mm. of the ones that they that came in this wave. So uh, there's no name for an ogre. Hey, you will suffice. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, I mean, his name's like Ark. I don't no, know. No, no, there's no, lots no, of vowels. No, no, they, no, no, lots of no, no, lots no, no, of consonants. No, no. You come on, fight. They, have they tackled any of the Snake Men? <laughs> no. Like, any versions no. of the Snake Men? Okay. Mm, well, like King Hiss or n- n- no. not as an homage to okay. you know, the Masters of the Universe stuff. No. Okay. So uh, I told you how they'll get my money. Uh, so Carolinas, Omadon, whatever the blue and yellow wizard's name were. Uh, Asian one and the... Buh-buh-buh. Um, <laughs> Gorbash, Smurgle, Briog. Okay, I'll make sure to... Flight of Dragons. I'll post that in Dragons. one of the. the girls. They would, I mean, if anyone would do, it, they would do it. Yeah, and I'm it. telling you, like, this like who the fuck? I bet you there. I, I wonder, like, that would be an interesting conversation. Like, do a little bit of research, which is what we'll never do. But the uh, to do it in two weeks. <laughs> yeah, two weeks, two weeks. Who has the rights to that? Yeah, because that shit might just be out. Like, you might, like, we might be able to make Flight of Dragons figures. You should check. There's there's long. sites you can check to see who has the rights to stuff. But. And I bet you you could probably do a Kickstarter to it's really Disney. Truly own engaging. it and just sitting on it. Yeah, it's probably I forgot it. about it. They just forgot I want I want to know who owns Dino Riders. I still haven't been, figure, been able to figure that out. That's not up for market. Dino Saucers. <laughs> Dino Saucers was trash. They, they, this figure, no, <laughs> that song alone was fucking. <laughs> 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 that one guy that went for it, it was like Dino Saucers <laughs> at the end. Yeah, have I'm you not. ever have you ever listened to I something ridiculous it. like that and thought? <laughs> What was the pep talk like for this guy? <laughs> all right, Donnie, we're really going to need you to lean in on that third syllable for us, all right? Give it one more try, Donnie. Look, these guys have to beat the Tyrannos, okay? I need you to give me the energy that they're going to beat the Tyrannos. <laughs> or just any you of... feel it. Like the guys where they were doing the Transformers music. All right. All right, um, trumpets, we're going to need you really hard you on know that what they third were missing? beat. They were missing that slide rule. <laughs> It's a slide rule and a slide whistle. It can do long mathematic equations while making comical musical sounds. Whoa. <laughs> too, 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 too close. <laughs> what? I can't hear you. the whole crew. In September 2012, an official live action film was announced. What the fuck? <laughs> what? Really? Of what? Now canceled. A production team was set to work on the project for a 2015 release date, including contributions from Maury Lewis, Chris Achilles and Wayne Anderson. Oh, they got Wayne Anderson on board for The it? film was loosely based on The Dragon Knight by Gordon R. Dixon. I bet it was. <laughs> <laughs> the original score was composed. Uh, like, dude, I'm getting ready to go- do a whole documentary on Flight of Dragons. So hey, for, 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 Netflix, for, Netflix, for Netflix. Speaking of scores, done. one thing from that Home Alone thing I pulled out was that they just kind of on a wing and a prayer sent, sent it to... to to uh, Williams and he's like, man, I'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> just like the Home Alone thing. He's that was like, cool. hey, never in a million years, you know, with John Williams. And he's like, That's, I love the movie. I'll score it for you. He's like, when do you need to buy? <laughs> ah, I ain't doing much. Go ahead, send it my way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it looks like Lucasfilm's taking a like, hiatus. So let me uh, getting the respond text stuff. from John Williams saying I ain't doing much would be great. In M in M space, you. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna score. He's gonna score your next <laughs> sit down Saturday. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> how great would that be? That'd be great. But other than that, I'm just busy with work and uh, working on this castle thing. Kelly's been painting on it while I've been out of town, which is cool. To... Is it based? Is what based? The castle thing, like what you have done so far. Is it based on what? No, I mean, like, is it is the base coat applied? Oh, it's it's pretty much painted except for, oh, wow. you know, the final touch. <laughs> 
the, the pump, the pump, w- pump, 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 pump. Put, put that white dry brush. Up. Pump it up. Uh, what, what that <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I'm probably gonna, I'm probably gonna <laughs> airbrush giant a little bit. brushes. <laughs> been, been, uh, yeah, she's she's been knocking it out of the park on the paint on that. So but that's pretty much pretty much it for me. Pretty light. Yeah, that is light. Maryland Phil. Well, all right, I'm, first of all, let's talk about your feet. Obvious, I obviously there. have a boot on. <laughs> yeah, so you have a boot on. I want to say a couple of things about Marilyn Phil's feet. <laughs> Do you need to come on back? <laughs> Sorry, Phil. Look, the dude's got poor feet etiquette. I'm going to give you two examples. <laughs> what is this? I'm going to give you some. Gonna, there's, there's feet etiquette. Like, like, we don't put our feet on the kitchen table, right? Like, like general foot etiquette. Like, you don't. Like there's rules to this shit. I did not do that. You did not do that. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> the, the worst offense I'm going to save. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. The first offense. Robert D said he's got this thing going on with his feet, right at Crab Fest. And Lars said, "Well, have you tried rolling?" Lars, physical therapist, have you tried rolling your foot over a tennis ball because mm-hmm. it'll massage out different sort of plantar fasciitis stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. He said, I haven't. She said, well, let me see if I got one. She had one. She gave it to Robert. The next thing I know, I'm looking over at Phil. Phil's rolling it on his foot. <laughs> Took Robert's football, literally, <laughs> and was <laughs> applying it to his feet. You don't swap feet <laughs> shit. Like, I never want used socks, sh- shoes. You're not. I don't even think you're allowed to donate shoes. Yeah, you are. Are you? you are. Oh, yeah. There's, 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 there's something sh- unhealthy about that shit. I don't like it. There's shoes at Goodwill all the time. It's crazy. <laughs> So let me continue. Bobby, say, say, this is when you get done with a pair of shoes, though, nobody wants your shoes. That's a fact. Yeah. Yeah, Have you smelled my dirty shoes? Don't, before? don't. Oh, don't. Oh. Me and Alan will die. Oh, you will oh, die. Oh, my God. I believe it was some nerd rage special. We had a fuck ton of people in here, and you started taking your shoes off. Yeah, yeah. It was not something anybody. <laughs> it's, it's only the old ones. New ones are fine. It's just uh, like I, I wear them out too But far. the new ones will become old. After For that. sure. <laughs> For sure. And then they're going to come off on a, on a nerd rage special. Um, Laura bought these uh, salts. Oh my god! Yes, <laughs> bath like, salts. No, the Himalayan pink salt balls. Him, Himalayan pink salt balls. It's salt lamp. They're supposed to be heated. Don't know what it is. It's a it's salt lamp. Mm-hmm, They're like little circle, like spheres, mm-hmm. and you put them on this lamp. You can say boss. <laughs> and you heat them up, and they're like they're they're hot. They're hot balls, so to speak. <laughs> hot salty balls. And We're she was like, South Park song. And, and Laura was like, no, they feel good. She, she, she takes one. She's like rolling it on my neck and all. And I'm like, yeah, okay, I get it. I look over. Laura looks over. Phil has taken his shoe off and is rolling one on the bottom. That was wild. Of his that sock. That was fucking wild. When did this happen? They, like, that shit was the wildest shit. I was like, yo. Like, that, what if I like went to, to somebody's house and they're like, yeah, no. Look, this is my my uh, this is this is my favorite my <laughs> my favorite chapstick. And I'm like, no shit. I take it and I just start rubbing it on the bottom of my feet. <laughs> Yo, it's funny because you, you when you guys were checking that if the balls were hot because you just plugged it in, you're checking it like you and everyone was like rolling on your faces. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm like, yo, I probably already am rubbing one on my face that Phil's had on the bottom of his feet. And look where no, his, what, look where no look one where, noticed. And look what's happened to his feet. That's what's gonna happen to my face. That's okay. That's not okay. Yeah, skull mask. It's fine. So now, so now. <laughs> At least Phil, uh, Phil is just combining uh, uh, techniques he's learning over here. So he, let me tell you what happened. He's, he's stacking up combos. Spoilers. Okay. Oh boy. Spoilers. So Phil Phil has other friends, obviously. Yeah. And Phil was hanging out with, with his friends. And his friends said, hey, man, you want a root beer? I got a nice cold root beer for you. And he was like, no, I'm good. And he's like, okay, well, I'm going to have one. And he's like, oh, all right. So he sat the root beer. There and he hadn't popped the top off it. Before he got a chance, he went to go get the the bottle opener. When he came back, Phil had taken the dude's cold root beer and was rubbing it on the bottom of his feet. And his, <laughs> and, his bullshit. and his friend broke his ankle. <laughs> <laughs> that is completely fab- fabricated. Oh, Come on. <laughs> what happened to your foot, Phil? Uh, and then how's your nerves? How was your foot's nerve week? <laughs> <laughs> it was very bad. Walking around work work with this thing on is a pain in the ass. Mm. <laughs> Trying to get my work done. Mm-hmm. Um. I have tendonitis in my right foot, so I'm now on some steroids and wearing a medical boot just Jeez. to keep my ankle locked in place. 
so brave. So no, <laughs> thank you for <laughs> start to GoFundMe for you for your ten to nine. Oh, yeah, GoFundMe. Mm-hmm. No, GoFund Phil. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, we gotta get you fixed, man. <laughs> no. We gotta be in the operating table, dude. dude get There's a nothing that can fix me. <laughs> Are you kidding? Uh, can I have you? what's your foot's Twitter so I can follow it? <laughs> <laughs> at, at Nerd Rage Cast. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's a, it's Please a, change the picture to a picture of your boobs. <laughs> and just run with it. Just say... Uh, uh, don't, don't, don't say run with it. <laughs> I can't do much running right now. Just say, uh, uh, this week, uh, Marilyn Phil's boots taking over the Nerd Rage Twitter. <laughs> and just start posting wild like pictures from low angles. and Just run with it, man. Oh, man. You got to pull yourself up by your bootstraps, Phil. You got to... I, I have been uh, all week. <laughs> Hey, you know, you, you know what they say, Phil, in in, in Cleveland. They say lace up, yeah. <laughs> one foot in front of the other. Lace up. You guys are heavy with jokes, Joe Dante. You got anything? Come on, <laughs> never. I'm not joining these jokers. <laughs> I don't make okay. jokes. I just say fucked up things. That's yeah. also true. But some of those end up being jokes. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. I'll tell you what. Not, not, not for nothing. Been... Making fun of your mother's strokes probably the most fucked up things I've ever said on their rage, and that is saying <laughs> something. The best. No, it's not. It is saying something. Uh, mm, she earned it. Yeah. Uh, so speaking of strokes of bad luck, Phil, how else was your nerd week? I watched the whole uh, series of Dracula on Netflix. The whole three episodes, they're an hour and a half each. Mm. Um, I liked it. it I heard good. the third one's the third episode kind of fucks it up. Yeah, it okay. does. The first two are pretty solid. The third one goes way off in left hour field. Half? It's like a movie. That's three movies. Yeah, it's the BBC thing trilogy. It's like what they did with Sherlock with the Benedict Cumberbatch and um and f- <laughs> for those Bilbo. listeners. Phil just said it's the whole BBC thing, and Dante looked at him sideways. <laughs> <laughs> Different BBC. Different BBC. The British Broadcasting Corporation. That's not. What it. <laughs> yeah. I so, think they've been calling it that. Never mind. I kind of. I'm not, I'm not going to make that claim. Just don't go, oi, oi. Uh, do you plan on watching it? Uh, like probably not. Really? Probably not. I'd be curious what you think. Especially of it. with everybody saying that they it's do. not worth watching. Like, like I haven't heard one person say like, "Yeah, dude, you should definitely watch it." Okay. I've heard every, everybody I've heard have been like, eh, "The third one fucks it all up. It ruins yeah. it. Don't watch it. Don't waste your time." Just watch the first two. I liked how they did the effects, and I like uh, was pretty he, much all of the acting. Was he a little Ivan to suck your blood? Um, no, no, not really. He's, was he ever he's old? Cocky. Was he yes, ever old? he was old in the first episode okay. at the very beginning. Okay, but he gets young fast. Okay. And he, he's more cocky than old men, but he does. I mean, it's it's hard to copy old men. He doesn't. Oh, nah, you gotta <laughs> pick it up with your feet, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> I just knocked over my phone. So he doesn't put his cell phone on his foot. <laughs> just my salt balls. <laughs> <laughs> you, you marked Sorry. it, right? You huh? mark which ball that was, right? No, it's probably been rubbed on my dick at this point because <laughs> that's happened. <laughs> That's why he's gonna put the put them out at the next skull fest. Um, yeah, <laughs> hopefully pick, pick out which one Bobby had on his nuts. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I won't say that. You um, probably can't go wrong. <laughs> Everyone, um, <laughs> two so whites. I liked it except for the third episode went off the rails and it ended. It ended badly on the third episode. Yeah, that's what I hear. But the first two were cool. I liked uh, who the Van Helsing person. Yeah, because they switched that around. Wolverine? No, no, <laughs> no. Sorry, no. Hugh Jackman. <laughs> Huge. It wasn't Anthony man. Hopkins either. <laughs> no, see, he did a great Van Helsing. You know, yeah, he was good. Is it syphilis or <laughs> is it syphilis? <laughs> I still don't know what he's saying in that joke. Do you know what he's saying in that joke? You're a no, blood guy. No, no. Like wait, Pyro? In 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 no no I, no I, I, no. I, I freak, no, I, I, I never would have guessed. <laughs> Treyway. Really? Yeah. yeah, he's got an album coming out. The um. The, 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 <laughs> the um Bram Stoker's Dracula. Yeah. Uh, I forget the line he used. So blood is an interesting theme through that movie. Yeah. And at one point, you know, like they had the you know blood transfusions are on the cutting edge of technology. Yeah. They show and that they try to employ them. Mm-hmm. Uh, at one point, Van Helsing is giving a lecture on blood and blood diseases. Yeah. And then he's talking about something, and I don't understand what he's yeah. saying, but he's like, and that's why uh, syphilis and uh, <laughs> uh, not quite. But it's like two things that obviously one is syphilis yeah, and, and one is something I, yeah, that is not syphilis but yeah, sounds I, like syphilis. I don't know. Turn on the captions, bro. Yeah, but it's like this is part of the game, though. I don't want to <laughs> cheat, Joe. 
I want to bump. I, I'm kicking it old school. I want to bump into somebody that heard from somebody what it means. Or they probably just, read just it in, on the captions. <laughs> no. Doesn't he taste the blood he's working on at the moment? Who? It, Hopkins doesn't no. like taste it. No, I don't think so. Second? May, just no, like a, just like a gag that, in front of the class? I don't think so. I don't okay. think so. But I could be wrong. It's been a while since I've seen it. I want to watch it with Jaina, but there's that threesome <laughs> or foursome yeah. with the Brides of Dracula where he turns them into that weird stop motion. Yeah. Conglomerate. Yes. Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah. banishes them. Yeah. Have you seen that movie, movie? Chris? Which movie? Bram Stoker's Dracula. A million years. I, mean, I was in the film industry, Bobby. So I, I, I do remember. I've, <laughs> I've seen so many films. Dante, have you seen it? Oh yeah. You remember when he yeah, Dracula yeah, I know. throws I know. them all yeah. to the left, and mm-hmm. they end up becoming like they end up looking like that He Man character that has all the Cor- um the legs and yeah. I was Ma- Majulok. That. Yeah, Majulok. Yeah. They end up looking like Majulok. Maji case, <laughs> Majulok in a Maji case. Whoa, uh, bo- whoa! Bo- there, there's your rhyme for next year. I, mean, <laughs> I got a Majulok in a Maji case. <laughs> I, I, I thought that was like their true form. You, when no, I, when no. I watched it, I said like, yeah, no. that's him like putting them back in. The I bed, was like, what is it? So, the what? new series? Like, hits I was like, are they still fucking on tons of beats <laughs> from the original, even all the way up through episode three? And they even when you say the original, let's just call it the third. I mean, one. I mean, I think I'm, episode three now. <laughs> doesn't deserve, it doesn't deserve that. Uh, not, I mean, not like this. Uh, the, not, the Coppola like film. This. Okay. Yeah, it takes that's, a lot of beats from that, and it steals a lot of lines from it, too. Like, it reuses lines so you know, you know people will know. That's still the best Dracula. Yeah, it is, but... There's no... To- I don't know if there's yeah. any topping him. No, I, I don't know. I don't. Palpatine. Well, yes. <laughs> Palpatine. Voice is strong. <laughs> <laughs> Who wins in a fight, Palpatine versus Dracula? Palpatine. Mm. Some principle. <laughs> It's like I don't. I don't did we don't talk know. about? He says in there. He says the princess of Alderaan. Did we talk about when he says that? No. Yeah, that's a tough line. When, when is in, in nine? Didn't he say it in nine? Yeah, he did. Yeah. yeah. What does he say? He calls Leia the princess of Alderaan. I'm just like okay. He um. That's a, that's a move right there. He, yeah. So I we'll get there because we can talk about nine today. That's right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, that I don't remember. But. Yeah. What else? What else, Phil? Did you watch? I'd say if you really like it, it's worth checking out. If it's on Netflix, you're so. still talking about Dracula. Dracula. Okay. So I saw the first three episodes of Witcher cool. just to uh, get you oh, off I'm my back. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm gonna let you finish. I watched the first twenty minutes of the first episode. And the first twenty minutes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Did and, you like it? And uh, I was. That was. This is after an hour flipping through Netflix trying to find something to watch. And look at this face. <laughs> <laughs> watched. I fell asleep. Yeah. Episode. I, I was about yeah. to fall asleep because, because we different. spend more time looking. That's for what I did. Because I, I wanted to watch it. You should just watched it. Well, I want to watch it with Kelly. And <laughs> oh, okay, that's. Fine. I felt bad because she's like, "Did you did you watch which?" I said, "I watched twenty minutes of it." So. I first the first three episodes I like. Um, I don't know because I don't know the books or the games. What. Does it jump around between characters yeah. and slowly mold the story together? Do you, yeah, you have to watch the whole series. Okay, no, like it comes okay. together at the end. Yeah, okay. you're supposed to watch it all at once. I heard, I heard from some other want, people that like, this was episode last, four. Last week of. when I was talking about it, it's yeah. like there are multiple timelines going on, and you yeah. figure out which timeline is which because yeah. witchers and and sorceresses don't fucking age much. Yeah. They lived like a long time. Yeah, I think time. Yeah, so they banked on that. Is, so that's Gero, how the books Gero, progress. Gero is like a hundred fucking hundred years old by the time you look watching the movie. So the books and the games progress in the same way, where you jump through Similar. time. You jump no, across. No, uh, no, 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 no. Okay. No, it's be, it's because of the they follow the books. Okay. And the books, a lot of the books is a bunch of short stories through. Oh, okay. So that makes more sense. On top of novels, so like okay. in order to get everyone's backstory, they had to do it this way. Okay. But I think from season two on, it should be linear. Okay. I heard it comes together more around the fourth episode, and I just haven't yes, gotten there yet. It starts to come together. Um, so I far, s- so good. Yeah, I saw. Yeah, I, I like it. I'll continue the, mm-hmm. the series. So it's cool. I like him in the role. You put your feet he- on it in the role. <laughs> <laughs> I just got the role. <laughs> oh, <damn>. no. <laughs> no, I haven't. Okay. Right. So, um, I saw the underwater movie, which was the new Kristen Stewart. How was that? I see some um, hype on that. He just, I, he just dipped a toe into that world. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, layer that. I expected it. So. <laughs> there we go. That was a good one. That was good. Getting better. <laughs> I figure I'll be tripping all the jokes over night, all night. So <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. Right, well so done. the underwater movie, I don't think it's going to do very well, but I liked it a lot. Who is? What is the name of this movie? It's, it's just called Underwater. Chris, it's about it. it's about Bigfoot. It's that girl in it. No. <laughs> oh, it's got that girl that's worth. You hate it. What's her yeah, name? Yeah, it's the girl, Kristen Stewart, the God, one you hate. She's fucking loud. The little boy from Panic Room. 
<laughs> yeah, she's she's <laughs> what? I, for the longest time Take watching that movie, I thought that was a boy. And what? In Panic Room with Jodie Foster. Yeah, that's uh, for you. <laughs> <laughs> Toss a coin to your Witcher. There's yes. a coin on the table. <clears throat> so what? Up, what else? So was? um, it's just basically this under this underwater drilling company, mm. and um, it's just like a it's basically a survival movie where. You have this horrible situation where something's going on with the drilling. Something's erupting out of the earth, and they don't know what it is. Mm-hmm. And it capsizes the underwater. They're like seven miles below uh, ocean surface, and they have to try and survive while the place is collab- collapsing around them. Huh. And then th- they realize the thing that um, – or the things that are causing the wreckage are these humanoid sea creatures that nobody knows about from the Marianas Trench that are attacking them at the same time. Hmm. And then, so, and, and then. it's a small cast, which which works. So it's it, there's the sci fi element, which is why I wanted to see it. Did you watch that one with the miners in South America? You watch that one? No, it's the like one with on Antonio Banderas. Is he in it? Yeah, he, he's the yeah. lead in it. It's yeah. good. That's just good. I, I haven't seen that. That's but, just good. Yeah, the, this they did a good job with keeping the tension throughout the movie, and I think the actors all did a pretty decent job. Oh, the other chick that's in it is Jessica Henwick. Uh, the um, uh, what's her name from Iron Fist? Uh, the daughter of the dragon. She she's in it. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Colleen Wing. Like this is an exam. Yeah, Colleen Wing. Yeah. A deep pull oh, from she, something I don't give a fuck about. Let no, was she Colleen was, Wing? She's in episode seven. You just got to relate it to him. She was. Oh yeah, she's in episode seven. As one well, of the X Men so. Yeah, she was. Yeah, oh really, okay. Yeah. She, <laughs> it was released this week. I think that she was originally not Snap Waxley. No, and not. Uh, I don't know. Nasty Atsy. I, I don't know. Right. The it's the Asian like girl. You. It's the Asian girl. I don't remember. Okay. But I don't know. There's, there's she she auditioned for Ray and didn't get the part. So originally before hmm. Daisy did. Um, uh, uh, I got something I got to share real quick. I'm just okay. going to share it right now while we're on the subject. <clears throat> so Abrams, however, seems to have a very different interpretation of the kiss as not sexually romantic. Instead, it's as much it's as much a brother sister thing with Ray and Kylo. <laughs> More similar to when Luke and Leia locked lips in the original trilogy. He also pointed out, in early drafts, the sequel characters were written as siblings. Weird. Yes and no. I like to kiss my cousin like that. So Some you, that one. So um, you finally saw it, Joe. Well, yeah, but yeah. I just I just want to point out. That's weird. That, but that's the vibe I got from day one, was that they were siblings. Yeah, yeah. You know, the kiss was not a sibling kiss. No, no, no. Well, but, but so this is before that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so like that was in there. It was part of the plan, mm-hmm. and then it didn't happen. And I'm guessing it didn't happen because the Twitter people wanted to Ray yep. low. That would be my guess. I mean, mine is following all the Twitter feeds and saying, "Okay, here you go." Yeah. Anyway, continue. I just wanted to point that out because it was something I'm, I meant to bring up last week and did not. Um. So if you like ten spillers, you might like it. Uh, I, I thought it was cool. Um, uh, as far as like reading stuff, I read, I read the Masters of the Universe versus Injustice, which I brought for you to borrow. I, I like it. It's a, like a one-off story. I wish self-contained. It, yeah, it's okay. six issues. Like it does continue from a previous Masters of the Universe story because there's it lets you know something that happened at the end of the last one. Uh-huh. But this is in, the introduction of the Injustice Universe into Masters Eternia. Universe. So I like all the nods they give to. He Man and stuff. <clears throat> Did they cross into another dimension to get to eternity yet, or is the Injustice universe existing no. in the same no, universe? It's, it's as another eternity. universe. Ah, yeah. yeah, I like that idea much better. I where don't. it's like Eternity awful. is just no Eternity yeah. is just on another planet far away, but Injustice uh, is on see, Earth. It's in all in the same. I just universe. don't think I need that in my life. That, no, I don't those think things I don't, going together. <clears throat> I don't either. But it's possible. But, I mean, but it's a huge place. Eternity it's together in, right yes. now. It's but an I, interesting read, but they have so much ground to cover. It's very rushed. I do because like, there are only six issues. Right. I do like pickles and peanut butter though. So and, I never know. I like carrots good. and peanut butter. The Masters of the Multiverse issue number one that I, I gave you mm-hmm. is going to continue. I think with that same He Man. Like because that the whole point of this was to unlock something in Eternity where you can see all these different. Uh, different universes in, in the Injustice universe was one of them. Okay. So the the problem I have with it is it rushes too fast because it's only six issues and you don't get enough time for character beats. Okay. And you don't get enough time for the artist. The art isn't bad. It's just it doesn't have time to do cool like splash. Pages Cover art is interior. Um, 
I can't remember. Cover art looked alright. Yeah, the, yeah, the cover art is is interior. Okay, but something went on with the inks with that because you can look in the back of the book and see the sketches, and I like the sketches back better than the interior art. So mm. something happened with the inks and the colors mm. that I didn't like. Um, and then I read some other stuff. Oh, sorry, I find that happens a lot. Sometimes I like when I see pencil sketches, I feel like the the, the inks and or the <clears> color <throat> overwhelms. Yeah. Sometimes things looking too clean makes it look bad. Yeah, but the to me the pencils. Like, Flash yeah. animation kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. Pencils at the end of the book look cleaner than the, with the ink. So something got oh, murky. that's weird. Yeah, it got murky. Um, I read the – I picked up the first issue of the Black Label Hellblazer series, and that has potential to be really good. It was cool. I can see that. So they're allowing Constantine. I mean, it was a fucking Vertigo book. Yeah. You know, it's just – so now, Yeah, <sighs> now it's the uh, – what is it? The Sandman universe presents – Hell, uh-huh. Hellblazer, John Constantine. You let me know when Transmetropolitan makes it to the black label. I'm sure that's coming. Spider Jerusalem. <laughs> Did you read that? Mm-hmm. Was it good? I enjoyed it. I never read it, but people say it's great. I probably somewhere probably have like thirty Lucy's of it. Really? Uh, really? How did you I've get wrapped re- up in that? I only got read. <laughs> it seems like such a bizarre it. thing. It, it, it was, it's like a, a futuristic. I don't know. I just enjoy the world it was in. Yeah, no, I'm familiar. Kind of I'm just, how did it hit character. your radar? It's such a, like a. I, I it think it's a weird book. I think we're just seeing the cover art. This real wild ass bald yeah, head. Give it a shot. Yeah, well, that's good. That means the cover did exactly what it's supposed to do. I mean, I don't remember. Or maybe I saw an ad for it on something else. Mm-hmm. I'm like, this looks interesting. I finally found and read the thing you guys hackled me last year for the the Blade versus Wolverine one shot that you said oh, I didn't Oh, crash. nice! It, it's it's, it's kind of crappy. Uh, <laughs> really? <laughs> really? <laughs> really? I had to read it though. I was like, all right, it's a one shot. Good thing I was sitting down. <laughs> <laughs> but they did at the same pli- time a Weapon Plus one shot. That's Logan and Cap, mm-hmm. and they I like that better because it delves into the history of Project Rebirth, which created Cap, leading into the Weapon Plus program, which created Wolverine and all the other stuff. So if they if they were to go into a series with that, there they could be potentially a lot of meat on the bone. Right. If they wanted to do it. So to speak. Um, yeah. <laughs> Attaboy. <laughs> um, Marvel started redoing the end series where they do end cap stories to a lot of their famous characters, and they just did their first one. Called, oh, that's interesting. Yeah. So back in the day, they did the end <clears throat> for the Hulk. They did the end for the Punisher and some other characters. I like this idea. They were cool. They did the first one they dropped. They're all, these are going to be one shots too, I believe. They did Miles Morales the end. It's Miles as an old man in like a survivalist society in Brooklyn. Hmm. Yeah, it, it was. I didn't like the art because the art's too much like Humberto Ramos for me, hmm. and I don't like it, that style. But um, it was it was a cool story. Uh, he's basically like. He has his community that is protected by this sphere, and he lets people in and out as he says. You ever see that movie Sphere? Yes. Yes. You ever rub it on your feet? No. (laughs) Look. Is that the only sphere you've never rubbed on your feet? (laughs) There's a lot of spheres I haven't rubbed on my feet. (laughs) I actually read that book. That (laughs) fucking movie's trash. The the book is better. I I can't believe it. The book is what I consider Crichton's best work. Really? I I like Jurassic Park a lot, lot. but his writing in Sphere is better. Wow. So because. That movie's not good. No, no, the movie is not good at all. The movie is not good at all. Mm. But that's what other Michael Crichton movies are good, terrible. Uh, Congo, Congo is Congo is bad. Terrible. Um, um, except for, me. It, yeah, and, and when she goes, uh, <laughs> he's like points to his forehead. Uh, but it's got apes. You don't like it with a crazy white ape? Well, I like the apes, but there's white not gorillas. enough apes. There's not enough apes in that movie. Yeah, there's not. When I was sitting, I, I saw that movie in the theater with my dad. And when she did that, uh, my dad did it to me like super loud, like in front of the, like, yeah, she, he, he, my dad. My dad uh, and his, his fingers like mad into my forehead, like. Uh, <laughs> Um. Yeah. Uh, timeline was okay for that. The movie had Paul Walker in it, and they had um, Sphere. No, no, no. Oh. Time, timeline. Oh, 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 another Michael Crichton book. It was okay. a good book. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. I never that was saw Time it. Cop. That was not Michael Crichton. <laughs> what well, Time Machine? I like that. The movie. Time Machine, which which version? <laughs> the new one, like the, 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 the one with Guy Pierce. Yeah. yeah, yeah. People shit monster. on it, but I liked it. Yeah, that was really? that was, that was a good really reinterpretation of the story. I shit on it. You shit on it? <laughs> I like it. Really? You shit on it? You don't shit on too much, too many things. Uh, Sarah likes it. They had Orlando uh, uh, Jones uh, uh, as the hologram. Yeah, no. <laughs> Did she listen to last week's episode? I don't know because I need her to know that I didn't exclude her from that fucking. Like it's fucking with me, dude. I think she she may have because I know she mentioned something about. About it. I need to know. <laughs> <laughs> I need to know. Speaking of which, speaking of things I need to know. Oh, no. So I, I told Shoulders. I tried to hit I, should, I hit Shoulders up Saturday last week. Mm-hmm. And I said, hey, man, we're recording next week on Saturday if you're interested. No, yeah. I just said no. I just said Michael. We always start the same way. I yeah. say Michael, and then he hits me back and says Robert, and then we continue our conversation. <laughs> so I said, Michael, I got nothing. Whoa. Nothing. So then I hit him up. 
uh, yesterday and said Michael, and then he said Robert, and then I said, "Hey, we're recording," and he said, "Well, shit." Uh, let me read it. Uh, I said, "I said we're recording in our R tomorrow at seven p.m. If you're interested, no pressure. Just want you to know you're welcome. Hit you up earlier in the week, but no response." He said, "I got it late as fuck," and then I forgot to respond. But as far as I know, tomorrow. But as far as tomorrow, I'll see what I can do. And I said, okay, cool. He said, full house? I said, yeah, probably. He said, Indiana Jones score wasn't on your top five. <laughs> I said, top ten for sure. I don't know about five. It'd be close. He said, does the main theme count as a score? I said, yeah, for sure. He said, well, then Superman, Star Wars, The Exorcist, Halloween, and Jaws. And I said, Rocky? That's one we missed. Because yeah, we didn't mention true. Rocky. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Rocky is extremely iconic. Somebody mentioned in the comments. And then, yeah. um, and then I said, Rocky? That's one we missed. And he said, I didn't. <laughs> 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 and and then I wow. said and then he said but it's in my top 10. And then and then and then here's the here's the here's the keynote. I'll let you know about tomorrow for sure. Oh no. So, you think I've heard anything? No. No. Oh, let's, let's find out. Serious? Let's find out what's going on with him. Oh, shit. All right. I'm <laughs> Let's find out what's going on. Let's get to the bottom of this. Tell Mr. Green he's got to be here. He's looking at his phone right now like fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you reach Mike. It's coming. Tell him I'm going to rub my feet on his phone. (laughs) (laughs) Please leave your message for Mike. Hey, man, I'm just wondering if you were going to let me know for sure about whether or not you were going to come be here by 7. It's 8.19 on the same night. But if you're going to be here by seven, if you could just hit me up and let me know, because you're going to do it for sure, you know. So that's what I'm 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 curious about. And to be fair, it's not me who's disappointed. It's Marilyn Phil, and he says next time you see, he's going to rub you rub his feet on your phone. So I don't know what that's all. About. You, you, the two of you can work that shit out. But um, yeah, I don't know. Best of luck, man. I got my, my salt balls smell like shit. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> poor poor man. <laughs> All right. Uh, continue. What else did you read, Phil? Sorry. You're a big reader. Hey man, I am not a big reader. Um, Might surprise some of you. Might not to others. You read? I mean, you surprised me when when I found out you actually read novels. Yeah, it's gotten it's gotten a slowdown in my old age. So, I've read a few. Course on Nights is a pretty good trilogy. <laughs> Collecting a lot of dust. It's gonna be funny when we're fifty five and you start reading these fucking yeah. books. I gotta put in my will, like, look, so we give back the shit that doesn't so that, belong to me. It makes me wonder: Am I gonna get my justice book back? Uh, <laughs> I'm working on a film, <laughs> dude. It's, dude. In, it's in the queue. Mm-hmm. You can rub it. It's in the queue, dude. You can. That's my shit. Don't put my shit. Yeah, out. Say, it's in the queue. <laughs> Don't put my. It's, it's, it's like it's like his. He had to get something to replace his bullshit Netflix mail in movies. So now he's got all these borrowed fucking books he's got lined up. Yeah, no, it's in my queue. Don't I'm sure. I'm sure you'll rub your feet on it, and I'll never know. Some everybody. Some people send me a record. Like, hey man, check out this record. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This is in my queue. <laughs> Ten years later, I try. I try to well, get back. I if, really do. If you don't care, Chris can read it first and get it back to you. I'm there you sure go. Read it there you, go. you can read it first. What do you put it, me put to it, read? Put it in your few. Injustice in... versus Master Universe. Yeah. I don't want to read that. I'm just going to be honest with you. I have no interest in reading that. Phil. Thank you. Thank you for the offer. That's very, very kind of you. Put it in your queue. <laughs> put it in your queue. You read it again for, for me, Phil. <laughs> Actually, I, if, I, if I have a night I can't sleep, I'm going to call you and you read it to me on the. <laughs> Oh my God. Ooh, man. I put it on speakerphone. I'm like, Phil, take your socks off for you. <laughs> I'm going to rub it on your mop handle. Yeah. yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Hey. 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 Oh. Whoa. Well, how to hit it with the slow. <laughs> Get to It's getting better every time. It's sauce on the end of it. <laughs> All, right. All right. So I read the first issue of the Black Label Wonder Woman series, Dead Earth, and that's cool. The art is a little bit not my thing, but the story is cool. And she basically wakes up, or gets woken up in like thousands of years in the future by a surviving society of scavengers. And uh, she's in Wayne's home. 
she's in the bat cave that's where they find her it's like buried under tons of rubble okay so it's cool i don't she, hate that she's got to end up like she kind of by the end of the issue, first issue she kind of takes over there or helps them out and says i'm gonna help you we're gonna try and get a themiscara all right and then it leads into whatever is coming next so that should be interesting there you go and then um out of the dark multiverse crap, which I know you don't really care for. That's all the metal stuff? Yeah. yeah. So out of that, DC is doing one-shots, or they did one-shots that are called Tales of the Dark Multiverse that are basically what-if stories. They're taking mm-hmm. a different um, version of each universe, and it has somebody that is called uh, Tempest Fuginaut or mm-hmm. whatever that is like their version of The Watcher. Mm-hmm. And it's a one-shot issue. They're taking a famous DC stories that are the, some of the most famous they've ever done and redoing them in a dark outlook. So the first one that I read was um, Death of Superman. And so instead of uh, uh, when Superman dies, Lois gets angry and takes his, his remnant cape up to the Fortress of Solitude and intercepts the Eradicator, who is going to come in and become the last son of Krypton, one of the Reign of Superman characters. Mm-hmm. And instead fuses with her and she becomes like this avenging eradicator angel and starts slaughtering everybody around the earth to take revenge for Superman's death. So it's, it's an, it's an interesting one. Yeah, that's cool. And the other ones they're doing that I haven't had a chance to read. Um, they're doing one about Batman's broken back from the nineties that where it's him and, and, uh, Israel. And then they're going to do a black, uh, blackest night, darkest, dark, dark multiverse. They're going to do, um, a Judas contract one. Blackest night. Yeah. Blackest night. Interesting. Would, is that interesting. Would be interesting. I, I want to read that one eventually. And oh, the, do, the comic, the the proper one? No, no, I no, I've read it, but oh, you read the proper all no. of it? Is it long as fuck? Yeah, you I, see got, how many there I are? got the omnibus. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't reread, I haven't reread them since I got the omnibus. It's it's fucking so, amazing though. Yeah, uh, it's Chris, one of the, like one it's best stories. Yeah, fucking yeah. amazing. Um, I'll put it in the queue. <laughs> do you, you don't? Do you have a, a flashpoint omnibus by any chance? No, I got the whole series. Okay, okay. so you got all the books. Okay. Um, but anyway, so the Dark Multiverse one-shots are just taking famous stories and redoing them like a what-if story. Okay. So the Blackest Night was another one they're going to do, and then they're going to do um, Judas Contract and um, uh, Infinite Crisis, I think. Oh, okay. So I, I don't remember how, they, how many. They won't do Brightest Day because it's terrible. <laughs> yeah, that I don't think I ever got through good. all the Brightest Day. It's not good. Yeah. It's not good. And that's basically it. Okay. Yeah. Dante the Destroyer. Hi. How was your nerve week? Loaded. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Like Dante. Oh, was, that, was, was that couch treating you right this week? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, I, don't know, I actually took notes. Oh, but I got to go. I gotta go you gotta well, we right. knew we were coming on <laughs> another Saturday for once. It's just sure. second. Um, this is the only time I've had two successive shows, I think. There you go. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was like, wow, back-to-back weeks. Oh, okay. How do you get my feet ready? <laughs> yeah, I was going to say step after step. <laughs> um, step by step. Actually... <laughs> <laughs> so did one of my nose. Oh no! That's for you, Phil. It's not Metallica. To, 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 to everybody out there with a broken limb, this is for you. This is for Phil. Just hop around like an old man. So not always lost, but will be the future. Come to pay the cost. How about you that? Want. I've heard this in years. <laughs> All right, who are the who are the who are the leads for this show? Phil? Uh, no, I, I remember not. Sure. Suzanne Summers. Oh, yeah. Duff. Yes. Paul Duff. Patrick Duff. Duffy. Patrick Duffy. Paul Duffy. Duffy. And I punched him in the face. Really? You punched right. Paul Duffy That's in the face. That's a fact. Wait a minute. You punched the guy from Dallas in the face <laughs> just because he had a you know, dream in the shower? He is what? He, he does jujitsu too. Wow. He's like purple or brown. He's oh, he, like, he probably fucked me up now. Fuck I'll fuck them up. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. Son. Don J fights Paul Duffy. I'm film at eleven. Yeah. Uh, something interesting about that show. I can't hear myself very well. Did you? <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. I was I was doing the wrong one. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So that it? That was the wrong. One. For a second, I thought you were the bust out new kids. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no. <laughs> yeah. All right. Good to go. What's really weird is that I was actually though. talking about. Um, that show yesterday at work. I was talking about the whole TJ uh, yeah. uh, Friday lineup, and I was mentioning that show. Yeah, I um, shit. step by step. Yeah, but um, I watched a show on Prime called Undone, which it was neat. It I, I don't <laughs> know if you ever uh, remember uh, there was this movie. 
call it, a scanner darkly. Yes, yep. that movie is yep. awesome. Robert so Downey Jr. Keanu Reeves. Yeah, mm-hmm. the movie's yeah. wild. I, I, I try. It was on something recently. I tried watching it. It, it was just late. I didn't bother. But cool. it it looks like that as far as on the animation oh, and I everything. I think I saw the uh, trailer for that. It, it's interesting. It like echoes of butterfly effect to some okay, degree. Cool. Um, <laughs> this season, it, it, it I think Prime does eight episodes for their seasons, which I always forget. And we got the episode seven I was like all right how many more we got because it was starting to really you know pick up the pace and it was like oh shit one more but it was solid um i'm interested in the second season is basically this chick who's uh fuck i, I watched it and liked it and i can't even fucking describe it <laughs> yeah no. but uh yeah she's basically her dad like passes away she and her sister um you know, kind of still affected by this. You know, he passed away when she was little, uh, like a little girl on Halloween night. And, you know, she starts seeing him, like having visions or whatever. And he starts telling her, like, look, I need you to go back and, you know, solve my murder. Mm-hmm. Um, it, 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 it's interesting. Um, again, I'm interested in the second season because just the way it ended it ended in a way where I was like, oh, well, I want to know. Um, did everything work out? You know, because she's just like, holy shit. And then it just stops. I kind of hate shit like that. Mm-hmm. But um, yes. it, it was fine. Um, I, As you mentioned, Flashpoint. Um, I like the DC animated. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, that's, that's great. great. Yeah. And I have, like, I loaned. Uh, that shot through the chest. Right where you see the shooter, yeah, yeah, like it's Thomas Wayne, right? That's on the other side. Like yeah, he yeah. shoots that dude through the chest. Yeah, the camera's on the other side of the dude. It shows the hole get blown out of the dude's yeah. chest, and Thomas Wayne on the other side holding the yeah. pistol. Yeah, that's <laughs> that is a cool. That's, shot. that's, that's one of the that. best shots in, a, in the whole. It's crazy. Movie. Man. That was that weird moment where I realized, oh, this ain't for kids. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's not um, for kids. it like already happens. I'm like, Selena, cover your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I, I, I had like, you know, Flashpoint Paradox, Justice League War, all, you know, all physical copies. I loaned them out somewhere. I don't know where the fuck they went. Mm-hmm. I started getting, somewhere. no, they, they're out in Carroll County. <laughs> I, 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 I know that. This is Frederick County though. Is it this is Frederick, Frederick County. County. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm Carroll. Oh, so they might be at your house. No, I'm um, definitely not my house. In that hole. <laughs> in that box. But, um, in that hole. <laughs> no, yeah, I, I mean, I loaned them out. I got parts of those movies back and then you know there's like digital copies that's when i started getting into not parts of the movie but you know part of the collection mm-hmm. um so i was like let me just put these shits on the computer so that way if i lose the disc again i got them but flashpoint was one that i never got back so uh last week i'm looking around on on this app where all the dc movies were 4.99 i was excited i was like yes I'm looking for Flashpoint. That shit's twenty dollars. <laughs> oh, dude! That's, I, you know, I was. This was last week. <laughs> then I, you know, I'm just flipping through last night. Oh shit! Six nine nine. You know, sign me up. So um, I watched through that again. That's. I still enjoy that movie. Um, I so I watched Justice League War the other night, and it it was still fine. But yeah, that's it, the first arc of New Fifty Two Justice League. Yeah, yeah. it's okay. Yeah, yeah it, it's it, was, it was. It's yeah. an Aquaman story. Our, um, I feel like no, no. That was the second one. The Aquaman one was the second one. The oh. first yeah, the one was, of was Dark Side. Oh, that's right. That's right. So that's the first right, one I like right. better than the Aquaman one. I, I can't like, remember. I like the Aquaman one. Yeah, I can't um, remember which one I like better. But I uh, watched that. So when you mentioned, it, I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. okay. Well, that that works <laughs> right out perfectly. Um, it's the Aquaman. Just think of it, Chris. It's something to whet your appetite. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the animated movies are cool because they they yeah they're good great. Way, they're condensed for it. They're great. Story. They're great. Yeah, it's, it's. I mean, they're great. You, you really don't have to get in the deep end. It's just <laughs> <laughs> they never did Blackest Night though. So I was hoping after Flashpoint they would go back and do Blackest Night. But they the Blackest Night, I would. Yeah, but that, that would have to be like a series because yeah, they, they'd, they'd have, have to do the work. War of Light in, yeah. into Blackest Night. Yeah. Um, and just to note here that I, I text you. Um, <clears throat> was it one one of the mornings R- recently? Just between shows. <laughs> um. <laughs> Right? Was yeah, it? Yeah, 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 yeah. It was like, I think maybe Monday morning or Sunday. I, I woke up, just boom, like popped up. I was like, oh, shit, I got to text Bobby this. Because um, I I was watching um, The Secret Life of Pets. 
which <laughs> nice. I, I don't know why I was watching that at four in the morning. But I started thinking about Endgame. And I, <laughs> wow. Wow. That is – that's a crazy transition. And I'm, I'm certain this has been brought up by – Oh, plenty of people. M- many of people. Yeah, Endgame and Secret but, Life of Pets always. <laughs> always peanut butter and thing. jelly. But the shit that was kind of bugging me is like, you know, they're bitching about the pimp particles and going back in time. I was like, just go Pit. fucking grab the, the time joint and, you know, do your shit from there. I'm sure there's some reason why not to do that. I don't care. I don't give a fuck. Just fucking do it. That way you cut out one of those hours of the movie. Yeah. You got two of those hours? I, I really like I like that first hour. I like that last hour. That hour in the middle, just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not. So when they're establishing the, their science for an hour, literally, yeah, yeah, we're yeah. gonna tell you how we're gonna do all this shit. That yeah. don't make and, any and sense. then how it doesn't. It's not supposed to work, but it's gonna work. I'm sure. like, can, can somebody tell these guys I never like school? <laughs> <laughs> they, Other than hanging out in the fucking atrium. <laughs> That's they, a flex on y'all, by the way. We had an atrium. Mic. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, how you like that? <laughs> but um. But yeah, I still think about that because I, I do. I do like going back to watch that movie, but it's just that that part where they start wait, traveling through time. As a matter of fact, I've gone wait, back. Wait, wait, are we talking about Secret Life of Pets or are we talking about Endgame? Both. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like they Both. blend Se- together. And Secret Life of Pets has time travel in it. No, I've never no, seen no, it. No, no. <laughs> let's just go with yes. Let's you. <laughs> you should check it out. It's actually pretty funny. The first um, one. Was no, great. the second. I'm, I was watching the second one because Sophie's hooked on it now. The second one is. Not as like, good. Well, I haven't seen the first one. Though. Oh, no, like, yeah, I started yeah, watching the first good, one, man. and for some reason, we never finished it. Second mm-hmm. one, they end up in the sewers with the rats and shit. Is that this? Uh, no, no, no. Or that might be the first. The, one. the crazy cat lady. Oh yeah, that's not bad. That's not I mean, bad. Never mind. They're both great. Fuck yeah. it. <laughs> really? Both better. Both I mean, better than Endgame. <laughs> wow. How you like that? that? <laughs> that's a fact. Um, but yeah, that that still bothers me just because, like I said, I'm I'm certain someone's definitely said this. You know, get the time jam. And then make moves, and then someone's probably like, well, you can't do that because blah, blah, blah. But I don't see why you can't. And don't message me on Facebook. Tell me why you can't. I, <laughs> I, I, I'm not going to fucking read it. I don't read the articles that I post. So I'm not going to read any shit that you send to me. It's true. I always have to go in and double check to make sure that the, <laughs> the messages that were sent to Nerd Age have been answered in any capacity. Well, There's Sometimes there'll be multiple ones, and I can see they've all been read, and Dante's just like, Nah, I got I got other shit I got to do. I know. I know. <laughs> well, no, there's some like I don't get an alert mm-hmm. for any messages. Some of them That's I'll a, catch. That whole thing's a mess. That um, whole system it is, it is, is it, garbage. The, the Pages app is trash. It is like I some of them I can catch, and I, I'll throw them in the notes if I catch them. But more often than not, I don't see it until weeks later. I'm like, oh, somebody's probably already, you know gotten to that. So <laughs> <laughs> it's like there's probably like questions from like two years ago. <laughs> Dante needs an emoji of the two hands going up and down, slapping each other as they cross paths. Um, just, yeah, ain't, ain't my problem. Um, um, also, I mean, on, you know, on on the Facebook, I put up a meme of like R two D two and some jujitsu shit, and um, someone commented, "Who you know, who on the panel trains?" At first, I took some offense. It was like, like, because it just says me, mm. but. That me had a little bit of you know, sauce, <laughs> like, then, but then you know we, uh, uh, the dude Niles, um, we had a nice little back and forth. Yeah, I saw. I actually cool read that because I kept getting notifications, and usually when I get notific- notifications like that on nervation, <laughs> I'm like, oh, what is he doing? <laughs> what is he doing? Let me go check. Let me go check. Let me go check. And I'm like, oh, look at them having a little little chat, yeah, like, little friendly chat. Do you grow, man? You working mm, on you? <laughs> I'm, wor- I'm working on me. Okay, I'm working on me. But um, but that was that that was nice. Thank you, Niles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was- um, and that we talk about competing. So, good luck to that guy. Uh, I'll be competing in April, hopefully. If I lose this weight, I'm not. I love candy. <laughs> <laughs> and What's your favorite candy? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, Go round table. Mm, favorite wait, candy? Wait, what? what um, I don't even say ask. Candy first. You got to define. Yeah. Like this, yeah. like the Snickers count as candy? Are you, are or you, are you counting like bar? chocolate or, stuff or, or like or like, what? Just sweets. What was the second? What was the second? Like the count. Does so, it count as chocolate bar? Like, because you know, some people. What's consider- the difference between a, a chocolate bar and a Snickers? No, no, no. Some people consider Snickers not candy. Oh no, that's just candy. No, no, it's candy Ooh. as fuck. Well. No, candy- like, who? <laughs> not everyone considers chocolate bars or like bar form things to be candy. They're dumb they, as they- fuck. I wow. agree. I agree. Wow, that's so bonkers, that's why I want to make sure we define let's, it. Let's 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 like, let's, some people say, like, let's hard candy. Let's have it as all encompassing. All so you don't want to keep chocolate as a separate category. So, you want everything. So anything. Yeah, all in first all first now, ingredients. Now, some fancy ass chocolate. Like if you go trick or treating. Okay. Trick or treating yeah. candy. Trick okay. or treating. Apples. 
coming. <laughs> I forgot it. Dude, dude, I'm I going to stick a needle in your apple, Joe. Walking in my neighborhood, <laughs> this lady gave us apples one time. I probably that's told this story up. before, but it was like a gang. It was the, the whole, all the Goonies were out. Oh no! And we trick or treated, and she like she just gave us all apples, and we were looking at her like. And the door closed, and all you heard was <laughs> <laughs> all the apples hit her front door. Apples Yo, are delicious, man. My, and they're more expensive than candy. Look, so uh, yeah, no, no, so it's not. It's not. So in hindsight, right? I would rather have that apple and cut it up, put some peanut butter on it. Yes, you know, and and that uh, fuck the candy. Yes, but when I was you. fourteen, says you. When I was fourteen, 14? when you were fourteen and trick or treating, that was. Oh, you like, didn't. I, I, I'm not, I haven't got to my 17 year old years. <laughs> yeah, that was like 17. I, <laughs> I stopped, were you, were, at 17, 17 were you just going out bag snatching from little did, kids? No, 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 I never okay. did that. I never did. I, actually, you know what? Fun fact about me: I've done a lot of grimy shit in my life. I've never stolen. Last, I've never stolen yeah. from anyone. Like I, I, I've that. That's been my thing. I almost stole a porno magazine when I was 12. I almost did. Was it from an adult bookstore? No, was no, it? Okay. it was it was at the highs in Orange Brown. Oh off, yes, off Cradle yes. Rock. Okay. And, and I, I and, I, and, I, and I had it I had it in my jacket in a inside pocket rolled up and I was about to walk out and I was like and I said to myself, My father works too goddamn hard. And I went back and no I took shit. it out That's and good. I unrolled it and I put it on the shelf. Character building moment. You ripped yeah. out you ripped out the centerfold, put it in your pocket. And left. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I got the good stuff. Yeah, <laughs> this is all I need. <laughs> Actually, and I want these two articles. Yeah, but, yeah. But, uh, uh, Page seventy eight. Being a Page thief has never. It's just never been my. It makes my yeah. stomach turn. It, like I, I would have tried it a couple of times. Like there was a couple of times where I was at somebody's house and they had like a GI Joe that I really wanted and mm-hmm. I could you know and I was like. And then my stomach would start turning. I'm like, I can't do it. I just can't. It's just not in me. I used to see kids growing up with G.I. Joe's that I wanted like Quick Kick and shit like that because it was always those yeah. certain yeah. special characters that you never saw like never saw them anywhere yep. I saw this kid I didn't still well I, see that that's a weird line because I mean I took it from him <laughs> he was aware of it <laughs> so, so it wasn't robbed, like, you him. borrowed it so I didn't put it in my pocket without him knowing no he <laughs> saw me taking it he knew it was going to be mine so like two weeks later two weeks later the kid, the kid rolls up. Dante shooting dice in a circle, <laughs> and he says, "Dante, what? I want to get my quick kick back. What quick kick? <laughs> the GI Joe. Do I just roll box cars, yo? You need to roll the, out the GI nah, the the, the Joe. Now nah, that's my quick kick. <laughs> this ain't my quick kick now. Boom! <laughs> that's my quick kick, punk. Dante's, Dante's grand, Dante, or that kid's grandfather comes like, I told you not to be fucking with these people. <laughs> So ass in this cowboy. I don't know. You come down here messing with you. I, the Friday was on uh, like the Paramount Network, and we watched like, that shit. Is classic. Day. It is. It's Dude, so good. I, when I saw Friday in the theater, I saw it with uh, my buddy Lamar. All right, funny Lamar. So, Lamar. So that's what I'm getting ready to tell. So classic story with Lamar. Lamar was from a very well-to-do family, and uh, over like Beaver Brook, like Running Brook, like those areas, Wild Lake, off 108. Very well-to-do family. So I took him around the Goonies one time, and I was like, Lamar, Mike, 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 Lamar. And Lamar looked at him and went, Mike, Mike. And then hit, took his right fist and beat it against his left chest and went, Lamar, Lamar. <laughs> oh, my God. Are you serious? And I was like, hey, look. <laughs> Dude, that's about to go, go off right there. Hey, look. Hey, look. This guy's okay. <laughs> you caught him on a bad moment. You got off on the wrong foot, as Phil would say. Um, but hey, just, we all have those moments, you know. But yeah, I went and saw Friday the night it came out. I was one of three white people in the theater. So Lamar and I went to see it at Palace Nine. Shout out to Palace Nine. <laughs> and when we were sitting in there, uh, the I laughed like it was a good movie, of course, classic. But the part that I couldn't get a grip on, I was smoking very heavily at this point in my life. Um, the part I couldn't get myself back together. It was like the, I was Humpty Dumpty, and like the, the, all the king's horses, all the king's men couldn't put me back together again. Was when Ice Cube looked at those two statues of those two porcelain what the fuck? dogs. That, yeah, like, that what the shit, fuck? Bro. I was like, yeah. I I still laugh to this day at that part, I, dude. I knew those vibes where you see something you're like what? <laughs> that shit gets me every Craig. time. Are you high? <laughs> she asked him to so accusatory. Your sister's a crackhead. She went, Craig, are you high? The movie. So um, my, one of my favorite parts is that he comes in after, you know, taking out the trash and mom's like, oh, I'm making eggs, bacon, sausage, and some leftover pork chops. Comes in and is like, where's mine? Oh, I just, just for me. 
Just have some. No, no have my some. grandma was good for doing that shit. My really? grandma used to hook up breakfast. I'm like, but her for herself? And, yeah. And I, I gotta eat those fucking shitty tasty O's from Giant. The fucking no frills <laughs> brand fucking Cheerios. Yeah, the, the, the best one. Bag and on a box. Yes. 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 Yeah. The best ones the were multi, the multi multi meals are, they ain't bad, man. The They're best ones bad. were the Lucky Charms. They were called. Irish treasures. <laughs> <laughs> now, wow. now Malto Meal is such a staple in like Walmart. They have their own stuff that's not made by anybody else. That's crazy. It, it's nuts. All right, so let's go round round robin. Top three Halloween oh, candies. Oh, okay. see, okay. top three Halloween candies. So right uh, right now, I'm on some. Uh, there's a dark chocolate Reese's cup. Mm. Oh, you want to get good. fancy on the no, Reese's? No, it ain't. Well, <laughs> well, now that's available at Halloween. <laughs> yeah, dark chocolate and white chocolate are in the mixed bag. Uh, and and you house. know what? You know what? <laughs> I normally don't oh, like oh, yes, white. They are. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Sophie's proof. <laughs> Sophie's choice. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh man. Oh Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus got nothing to do with this. <laughs> you don't want no part of this. <laughs> I like the white the the white chocolate Reese's, but it's got to be one of the, ha- the like the Halloween or the, the Easter shape. I don't like it in the cup. Yeah, it's, it's got more peanut butter ratio. It's, 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 it's more peanut butter and chocolate different. ratio. And the third one, um, man, I love like I like the little gummy Coke bottles. <laughs> really? <laughs> Fuck yeah! Wow, dude, I love them. Do and they're hard. The top, to f- do you buy the top off? No, 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 not not the nickel nips. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> no, I'm saying it's what it's called. Those, no. That's the wax bottle. Yeah, that's the wax bottle. The gummy that's shaped like a yeah. Coke it doesn't bottle. have it doesn't have coke. It has a little top. No, but it has I different color. It's two different colors. In the I bite the heads yeah, off the yeah, gummy yeah. bears. Yeah. Yeah. Similar. That's yes. that's for different reasons because you're fucked up a little bit. <laughs> I like. I mean, I like. I like Haribo. I don't think Haribo can do it wrong. I love everything. The do- they make. Do- mm-hmm. Dollar for two packs. Yeah, of whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any gummy so stuff yours. they make is good. Or maybe some, I don't know. Peach rings are good too. I yeah, don't know. Pe- I like a lot of candy. All right, foot action. What's yours? <laughs> <laughs> Reese's is my my number one. Basically, okay. any um, Reese's or just the classic Reese's pieces? No, no, pretty much any Reese's cups. I, okay, I like pieces too, but I, I prefer the cups. Okay. Um. Any any Reese's product I like, like they do all the other flavors. So Nutrageous. Like, Nutrageous. When Nutrageous came out, we were slinging those in eighth grade lunch to trade other people for full lunch. Talk your shit, Phil. <laughs> you would trade a, a, a regular size Nutrageous bar for a full fucking school lunch because people would do it. Because that was when they did, came out. Did, did y'all have that stop sign pizza? Yes. Yeah, 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 all right, yeah. then it was worth it. Yeah. That's yeah. cast money yeah. records right there. Yeah. I wish I could buy those that, from that Cisco. Was that, that, was, that was the supreme lunch. Yeah, that was before they switched to Elio's. Because well, it was like those little trash. circle shits. Like, it was like the deep dish. I, I, I never in <laughs> any of my time living in Maryland ever got lunch. What? what? I never got lunch. How? You, but you got that? some fries. No. You nope. never, you never tasted I, I the cafeteria never, fries. I never stood in line for lunch. No, but I'm saying, but you never nope. said, hey, can I get some fries as you grabbed a handful of fries? Because <laughs> that was everybody's hustle. Yeah. No. They, dude, there were kids would come and sneeze on their fries immediately to try to get people to stop. I, with. I have seen that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but no, nah, I, I never ever had any school lunch in the state of Maryland. I, I would just head straight over to the fucking honey buns. That's I'd cr- go straight oh, to yeah, the yeah, table. Yeah, 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 and just yeah, yeah, buy yeah. I thought you meant like they just didn't give you lunch. Oh no, 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 no. I mean they could try that if they schedule. want. But <laughs> you know what's crazy I would is take that lunch in Maryland. There's. You know, like, like, we talked about this like, Young Harbor, not, not the Old Bay, but the Young Harbor mm-hmm, spice mm-hmm. would be on the fry stand, like with with the seasoning, with the ketchup. Is that for real, like a bootleg Old Bay? No, no. <laughs> that sounds like some. No, All right. like somebody that lost the rights. Wait, hang on. Like, no, that's the new guy. So I've got this Lord Baltimore and the uh, the the Crab Kings um, uh, tag team. I'm, I'm I'm bringing out. So so you know about Lord Baltimore because that's a thing. I, I, well, I know who Lord Baltimore, and there's like Mad Lord Baltimore Roads, Drives, Avenues, yeah, like man, yeah. man, yeah. all part of the same vibe. So, all right, uh, so Foot Locker, any, anything Reese's, um, and then probably Milky Way. Mm-hmm. I like Milky Way over Snickers. I do too. I prefer, and you know, I prefer a um, Three Musketeers to all those. Really? Mm-hmm. So that's in my top. I three. like the simplicity of it. Three Musketeers. In my top three Musketeers three. is good frozen. Man, fuck y'all and your frozen king. My wife does that shit. I like, I like, but, I like it frozen too. Three Musketeers and Charleston Chew are good frozen. It's the only way to eat Charleston Chew. My is grandma. Something's racist yeah. about Charleston Chew. My grandma. Just saying. <laughs> My just, just seems just racist. Sounds, so, sounds so when you say Charleston that. Chew, <laughs> you gotta put the sauce on it. So, so it makes me feel weird when you say that because my grandma, who was an old white lady, definitely uh, kept a, a, like a little stash yeah. of Charleston of the mini Chew. ones, that, right? That yeah. was her yeah. shit. Yeah. 
Um, and you can only get it from People's Drugstore for a while. People's, like, before CVS. Yeah. 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 So, not, like, not little Walter's Butterscotch? That's old no, lady. no, but that old is man. old. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then after that, probably any gummy fruit candy. Yeah. Like gummy bears or Haribo stuff. That Peach rings is really good. Man, okay. Yeah. <sighs> Peach rings. Dante, top three. Um, so I'm allergic to peanuts. <laughs> yeah, but you love Reese's. It's Fuck crazy. yeah, and that's number one. <laughs> but um, you don't get like major <laughs> anaphylaxis. You don't no, no, get no, 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 no. So okay. I have a problem um, during the spring when all that shit's going uh, on. With, pollen going on? Yeah, when the okay. flowers are fucking. Um, that's, yeah, fucking that's true. They're yeah, fucking. But uh, oh, that's the only way to put it. <laughs> when the flowers are fucking, <laughs> so that's gonna be dude, that's no. Try to let have you? No, I can't. But, <laughs> hey, but that is going to be the name hey. of my R and B album. The flower. <laughs> 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 Will you just say the flowers be fucking, and then you're the, like that's got layers. I'll let y'all unpack that. Oh, Am I the, you see that? You see, I, you right, like you, it. I like you, it. You can use that, Bobby. Oh, right, write it down. That, uh, write it down. Triple entendre. How do I even do that? I know. Um, hey, am I the only one who thinks tree pollen smells like jizz sometimes? There's certain okay. a, bra- no, a Bradford you're, pear, you're ta- Bradford no, pear no, tree. No, no, no. You're talking about the honey, the honey, H- honeysuckle, honeysuckles. I don't know. Yeah, so, yeah. When I used to live in uh, Kensington, when I came outside, I'm, and I'm like, what the fuck? Why does it smell like jizz? Bradford, out here? Bradford Hold pear on. trees Hold smell on. like like jizz. the Clorox jizz smell. Yeah, yeah yes, that's, makes that's the bleach phone. smell. Okay. Let's make some more phone calls. Oh God! Well, you have you have an arborist on deck? No, I got no. I don't have an arborist. I'm surprised. My buddy Charlie. I've talked to you guys about him. He's like got the most fucked up sense of humor in, in the history. Oh, of the yeah. Actually, I know an arborist we could call right now. Not an arborist, but... A- What's up, son? What's up, son? Hey, uh, you're live on Nerve Rage. Um, Sorry. Hey, honey, honeysuckles, what do they smell like? Honeysuckles? Is it honeysuckles? What is it? What, what is that? What is those trees you smell in the spring? Brad, Bradford pear. I fucking oh, told oh, you, oh, dude. Okay, okay. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. And what do you call them? Gum trees, dude. Gum <laughs> <Home> trees. <laughs> Bradford pear. Told you. Yeah. Oh, I knew you would. Honeysuckles. Honeysuckles. Yeah, I wish my cum smelled like honeysuckles. <laughs> the pineapple knew- juice game up, son. <laughs> I knew you wouldn't let me down. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Later. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you guys all picked up because I've said that in the past and I've asked Bradford people and they've, they've looked at me like I'm fucking crazy. No, you're right. Yeah. He's guess, always guess what out. I had in my yard in Alabama. Bradford Bear. It smells like fucking in the air when yeah. you walk outside in the morning. Ski, ski, ski. I never, I, I, I never picked that up. My cum must smell weird. But when I when I see him, he's like, he's like hey, do you smell that? It's cum trees. <laughs> <laughs> That's wild as hell to call them cum trees. <laughs> I know. Uh, yeah. Where were we on this candy strike? Yeah, yeah. All right, so uh, Reese's is number one. I'm on that, but yeah, I do have a problem only yeah. in in the spring and like the okay. fall a little bit because I can't eat bananas, um, wow. peanuts. Hey, let me. Okay, you can't eat bananas. Are you allergic to latex condoms? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> you, wow. Well, Whoa, that's usually, fucked up on the low. <laughs> well, usually he, the reason he asks is usually the the trait that makes you allergic to those foods. No, actually, no. Because um, I know he we thought, used to he wear our gloves. He, he thought, latex. Or, okay. Yeah. He thought Never. it was a joke coming his way. No, <laughs> no, no, no. It's not. It's because. I mean, my wife. My wife has. I know the vibes. But my wife has a banana know. intolerance, and it, it same thing. Like, um, the latex bothers her in any capacity. No, like lucky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro, you don't know how lucky I am. <laughs> Um, not when like bananas, like my, um, mouth itches a lot. Peanuts, like my tongue, <laughs> like itches, shit like that. So if you so, had a peanut butter and banana sandwich, you just like. In the spring, yeah, I'm fucked. But. Write that I, down. I, 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 <laughs> write that down. Peanut butter banana sandwich? In the spring. In the spring. <laughs> this, you know what? Well, this sounds like we're going to get some fucking, like he's going to evaporate and so there's going to be some clue. This is a very complicated topic. Some candies of all, of all time. Um, but so Reese's <laughs> is number one. Uh-huh. Uh, Skittles is my number Ooh, two. Skittles. Have you oh, tried God. the new yogurt covered Skittles? I oh, will not. Phil, so you gotta relax. Um. <laughs> Dude, you know I gotta try the new ones. They're, I, they're good. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm super basic, uh, so no. Um, and then gummies. Any kind of gummies. Okay. Dude, you guys love some gummies. Gummies are badass. Do, oh, I enjoy wait, gummies. Do people who like gummies, do you automatically like Sour Patch Kids as well? Because they're not quite as good. I like Sour Patch Kids. I, I like Sour I Patch Kids as well. But. Unrelated, but I do like a Sour Patch Kids. I don't. Uh, but I, I, like, I had them one time. I bit the shit out of my cheek. And Ooh. I was like, it must have been their fault. So I was just like, <laughs> fuck them. <laughs> fuck them all the way. Um, That's a typical but, Dante philosophy. <laughs> oh, and, and It could have been me, but you know what? <laughs> 
definitely the gummy's fault. <laughs> but um, one Halloween, my grandparents passed out bananas. Whoa. <laughs> Cedric and I was with the group. Uh-huh. Cedric, Lel, myself, uh, Leo, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we, you know, my grandparents as we're walking out, they hand us bananas, and Cedric turned around, looked at it, <laughs> frowned, and threw it right back at the house. Like, dude, it's my fucking house. <laughs> yeah. like, I don't want a fucking bananas. So I was like, all right. Well. It's funny how Cedric skated through that whole era, not getting his ass whipped ever. I, I remember there was. I, I, I remember I said that um, at one point. I was like. Like I, I've never like it just never crossed my mind because you know because Cedric was kind of I don't not it, invisible but it was like yeah and he, it almost would seem unfair if you were to put hands on him like it would feel like like oh what are you doing who are you proving anything to yeah Cedric. I mean because yeah it wouldn't have been like punches I would have thrown him <clears throat> yeah like, well see so Cedric and Nathan I kind of put in a similar pocket but Nathan oh no it, I smacked the but shit see out that's Nathan the thing times. if somebody was going to get the shit smacked out of him it would have been Nathan let me tell you guys a, st- a, f- a great story about Nathan <clears throat> Nathan was this little skinny guy his parents were as crazy as a soup sandwich and <laughs> that's one way putting it i went to his house one time a storm door closed regular door open mm-hmm. his mom is sitting crisscross applesauce style in the kitchen down the hallway of the door where i'm standing in front of right so i knock on the door this bitch does a backward somersault from the crisscross applesauce position pops up to answer the door not just stands up that's awesome it's awesome, Joe, but it's also yeah. crazy. Yeah. What if she is just levitating and then walked this <laughs> way? Is she happy? Every time I saw her, I heard in my in my head. Yeah, they 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 that whole family was full of basket case. Yeah. Um, when they moved away, uh, I remember it was when we were living. I don't know which version of the world. This uh, was. Oh, you, you, tell, tell, tell me, there, tell me the street. Uh, what what the f- I can't remember off Oakland, off uh, Kilimanjaro that that that's, uh, yeah that's right 3.0. behind 0. that's three point so um Nathan had come back uh-huh. to visit and I remember money went missing Nathan had no money then suddenly Nathan's got money and I s- I remember people talking about that I was like I I was like he fucking did it but yeah. no one they, you know they, I remember they didn't that wanna, story you know, going go around that. um but it was it was just real eerie that suddenly he's got money. And uh, you know, no, no, I think he married some Mexican chick to get her citizenship later on. He was a it's pathological liar because he moved to Texas. Yeah, 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 yeah okay. Yeah. So he was There's a only patho- two things in Texas: steers and beers. I think yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and root beers. Okay. Um, he, uh, the joke. He was a pathological liar. Lied all the time. And the joke was, whenever you would say anything around him, he would say like, like, hey, like you know, whatever, like, hey, uh. Nathan, you ever fucking wrestled a great white shark? Like, ah, once. <laughs> so like anytime anybody would say anything, would be like, I did that once. And it was like a joke at his expense. He used to get upset. Um, and uh, Brutus and I made him so mad one time because I was like, my great-grandfather fought in the Dandelion Wars. And, um, and, 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 and Brutus was like, mine did too. And I was like, did he? And he's like, yeah, but only once. And then, like, 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 um, anyway, was that your three candies? Did you yeah, that was three. Okay, Joe. Snickers. Okay. Twix. Mm-hmm. Reese's. Okay. Cups. So I, I was a little upset that Twix hadn't been mentioned. No, I love Twix. Oh, Twix. I love Twix, Twix, too. Twix is I mean, underrated. I eat, weird Twix would have been my, my, I eat the caramel off the top, up. and then I eat the cookie. That's wild. Whoa. Yeah, my daughter so, eats them like... You just like, fuck Phil's mind. My, no, <laughs> yeah, my daughter eats a Twix like a corn cob. I like it. She's eating corn. Yeah, I, I do that with that, the, You get equal parts I just of it. put I don't know. I just candy in my mouth and eat it. Me too. Dude, uh, when we when they finally brought back peanut butter Twix after having a hiatus of like almost 20 years, I was I loved that shit. I got a deep cut for you since you seem to be a candy oh. aficionado. Uh, He's got a sweet tooth. I know some uh, He's got a sweet toe. I, I, um, <laughs> I think that's the diabetes. <laughs> Let's not put that on him. I dip my toe in it. This is from the early 90s. I think you and I are about the same age. We were reborn. 81. Okay, yeah, ballpark. It's called PB Max. Dude, my buddy and I have yes! been trying to find out why that never has gotten picked up. It's from some random company that doesn't make shit anymore. Oh, I, re- I remember. Ready to get a bro I remember <laughs> when we worked. Well, he can bring some PB Maxes on Piggly yeah. Wiggly. Yeah. Shout out. That's up. The best oh, peanut butter chocolate candy that's ever been made. Yeah. They've never brought it back. And the commercial was like, PB doesn't stand for. Yeah. Public bull riding. It stands for peanut butter. That's how the commercials went. Awesome. I need to find the commercial and play it. <laughs> yeah, play it. Yeah. yeah. Um, 
We're gonna have a can. We're gonna have the, can- <laughs> you guys the candy gonna- jams. <laughs> we're just gonna br- every- Dude, bring we should- bring seven after- bags of candy. After- you guys are having a moment after this. Can anybody come up with one candy that it doesn't exist anymore that they miss? No, nah, because I'm not a big candy. Yeah, I know guy. you're not. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, I bet yeah. all of the rest well, of us. I'll that's tell you, because that, that's one of them for me, and I have one other one. So uh, for me, is it's Three Musketeers, mm-hmm. and I do enjoy them frozen. Yeah, they're I, good. I'll eat them either way, but I do enjoy them frozen. Um, but I prefer them in the fridge. Oh, it's just chilled. Just yeah, yeah, just chilled. Um, Twix. Yep. Twix is left. Left just one the, or the right one. Just no. the caramel. The I, I enjoy them both equally. But, uh, so to speak, I like the big twig. Some the, like, four, the four pack. <laughs> no, like just the, the, come on, man. Just the, <laughs> this is a bigger twix. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, and I like the uh, whoppers. That's my old man's way. Oh yeah, I oh, whoppers. Whoppers. <laughs> whoppers, whoppers, whoppers are good. Chocolate balls. I, I like those until you get the bad one. Like <laughs> I've you never. Get, uh, you said that to me before. Like I've the, never yeah, had a the bad the one. That's not right. The yeah, a little shriveled up. up one. Yeah. I've never had a bad one. Well, I don't want to put really? that. Yeah, on. yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't I, eaten the whoppers. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I, whoppers I don't. I, I've never. I've, You're I, not a big candy. I don't eat a whole lot of candy. If I were to give a shout out to stuff, I would be nerds. I yes. like nerds. Have you oh, ever had? Have, have, you, have you ever had or split with your kids a nerds rope? It's, no, it's awesome. But I saw a fat guy eat that one time. And it fucked me up for life. I was like, man, I'm never dude, eating that. They do certain. I'm gonna be ones honest with you. Flavors. Nerds awesome. rope makes me feel like I'm doing drugs somehow, and I don't <laughs> well, know so how. I was just gonna it's say it's good, but a lot it's of the like, candy that I enjoyed as a kid was like very druggy. Like I like the, the one with the um, stick and the powder. That I like fun dip. Fun dip. I like so fucking gross. Yeah, I like fun dip. I like pixie sticks. Pixie sticks. Yeah, I like pixie sticks. I like snorted a pixie stick. Okay, yeah, yeah, I, I think we all have. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I liked. Uh, I did it at church though, so I win. <laughs> that, that's, that's, I'm gonna, that's let me. Let me I'm going to so to speak this one as a preemptive, so to speak as well. But you put it in your mouth, it starts crackling. Pop rocks. Oh, pop rock. Yes, I, I like that. Like anything that had like an effect. I was like, I like this. Um, I, I, there's a commercial. Whoever, remember in the really malls, like. they used to have like those candy stores where it's just like Willy Wonka. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, was it was almost like, it was a bit extreme. It was too much for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, yeah, they yeah, have yeah, they yeah, have yeah, some yeah. places like this. Like, like you open a exist. faucet and like it, yeah, it, 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 it did feel like it, Willy Wonka. So it's 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 sugar is the name of the chain. That's the only place you can get the giant fucking jawbreakers. Yeah, I remember you looked at it like a. It ain't the only place. Get the gummy bear this big, which bothers yeah. me. Yeah. I have a rule about I have a rule about gummy candy. You just put that shit in your mouth. Come there's here, no, baby. There's no biting it off. That's you like just the giant put... Reese's cups that are half pound that I got. Yeah. Oh. Come here. Hey, look who's here. Come here. Come here. What you want, baby? What are you doing? Hey, baby. You want to say anything to the people? What's up, Leah? You want to talk? You want to talk? Okay. 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 Let me uh, let me ask you a couple questions. What's your favorite snack? Um, um. How is that? I suck for the M Ms. M Ms. They're pretty good. Yeah. What about your favorite dinner? Um, um, tacos. (laughs) Yes. Yes. Tacos are great. Tacos are awesome. Yeah. Good choice. (laughs) Good choice. Tacos. Tacos. Taco Tuesday. So, I like uh, tacos. <laughs> All right, because so, the other one I missed that they don't make anymore is Bonkers. You remember Bonkers? Oh, I remember Bonkers. Yeah, I remember the commercials? Yeah, the bonkers. you out. Yeah, yeah, Some yeah, yeah. candy. So yeah, the closest that. thing they have to that now are the high chews from Japan that are now. I eating. love high chews, and those are exactly the same texture and, and high chews fruit flavors and everything. They're good. No, it's high chews. Yo, Phil, be on the forums, yo. Yeah. <laughs> high chews are definitely be like, better. High chew king man. is awesome. I got some dead stock seen, PB Max. Have you ever seen a Haichu King in any cons? That's like a poem, right? No, it's a dude. <laughs> what is it? Is, is, is it a Haichu <laughs> King? Yeah, it's a Haichu King. He goes out and passes it on. He passes really? it on. Oh, Haichus. Uh-uh. Right. You got it? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. This, yeah. Yeah, let me yeah. hook it up. Yeah, uh, this, I have this to is great. Take off your fancy connection there. Oh, you know, yeah, we're, yeah, yeah. we're in the, we're in the same zone, zone, dark zone. ages over 3. here. 3.5. All right, let me start it over. This is a PB Max commercial from 1989. Just what is the PB in new PB Max? PB don't mean pineapple beer. It's is barracuda first. or parachute yeah, buffalo. PB don't mean prehistoric barber. Oh, oh, man. Man. PB means peanut butter. Lots of real <laughs> peanut butter. Oh, in pure milk chocolate with a crunch you know? of a whole grain cookie. Now that's maximum satisfaction. That's great. Even if you're as mean you as a like wrestling in it. You'll be cool. Chris. Look, there's Chris in the commercial. I mean, I did have a lifetime supply of it until they closed. Uh, we didn't get those commercials up here, man. That dude's, that dude's accent makes me want to read a book. 
<laughs> Shake hands with danger. <laughs> All right, Dante, what else you got? All right, so um, real quick, Sarah has not listened to last week's episode. I thought that she did, but you need to square I, that I, shit up. I, I just told her, I was like, hey, he he didn't intentionally not invite you. And she was like, I, I know that you doofus. Oh, good. Cause I, I, <laughs> and then she was like, why'd you bring that up? And I, I don't remember why it came up, but I just, and I was like, Hey, Hey. And now I'm like low key worried. Cause you just told me you gave me the serious face when you said, don't invite her. And I'm like, I really want to invite her. I like, I, I, I honestly, um, I, I, if she does come, it'll be like early on. And then probably oh, lucky. <laughs> 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 Get it out the way early. Um, <laughs> Caleb just sent me a, a message. Everyone's been sending me this this meme for the last two months. Uh, this jujitsu meme, basically saying no matter the size of your opponent, always give it your all, and it's a grown man next to a kid. And he's <laughs> yes. fucking doing the judo toss. <laughs> Everyone keeps sending this to me. It's like it's because we get, it's although very, you would do it, it, it fits you. Fucking, it fits you. And I'm like, look, I'm not a monster. I would foot sweep them. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> fucking hip toss me. And, and plus, last them. week you also talked about how you were going to not teach the kids the full extent of their ability so that you could always beat them. Yeah, fuck them. <laughs> um, exactly. <laughs> like, like, why, why do I want them to be better than me? No, huh? no I get you. Uh, huh? You're on some. You're on some long. You're, you're playing three D chess to... right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, I I listened Makes to. Makes you seem so smart. Um, so you mentioned. Um, a podcast by what is it? Your mom's favorite podcast. Mm-hmm. Um, I I listened to their most recent episode. It, it, so there's more than one, I think. Yeah, there there there's more. I, I was just I just picked so up. I think my guys only have one episode out. Oh, so I, it might not be the same one. Oh, so I jumped right to. It. I was like, all right. I was like, this. I, I'm, it wasn't bad. It, it was, <laughs> you're it was, like you're like, dude. This <laughs> this is a very weird it, podcast. It, it, it was like what I did listen to was like Nerd Rage, just with no. Like direction, you know, like oh, we have. Oh, oh, oh okay. It might have been. Like it might have been them. It might have been them. They like, were talking about the Watchmen. No direction. Um, no, 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 oh, no, 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 no. No, there were, there were multiple episodes on this one, so it definitely wasn't right. it wasn't the uh, right one. But I listened. And I was like, oh, okay. This, were they like, Irish? I don't know what the fuck they were. Were they American? So I, I, they talked about some American shit. So they're American. Okay. Okay. Uh, you which, normally tell by the way the word sound. I don't listen to people like accents. Wait, and shit. what? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, I don't pay attention to accents and shit. I, like I, you know that that I'm they not call racist. it like they were they talking obviously about an elevator, but they called it a lift. Yeah. Were they getting into the trunk of their car? But they called it a boot. I mean, it was, they, they do say different words. Well, you think, talking about? I think a boot is Canada. I don't think they do that. No, that's what's on his foot. Oh, oh, <laughs> It's also um, what Cody calls the trunk of a well car. Well, then, forget that nerd note. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I want to apologize to Marilyn Phil because <laughs> listen to last week's episode. He mentioned Fast Color. Now, he and I had talked about this movie, I think, a few months back. Yeah. And no, I, hadn't, I, I hadn't had a chance to see it yet. I, for some reason, I blanked out during the episode because <laughs> I didn't realize he mentioned it. I'm listening to the podcast and I heard him talk about it. But before I got to that part... I text him like with excitement, like, dude, fast colors on uh whatever it was, Prime maybe? I don't know. But I was excited and he messaged me back like, Yeah, I, I saw it. I kinda like fucking dummy. <laughs> <laughs> no, and, I, I asked I asked I didn't want to ask what you thought of it because I figured you'd talk about it on the show. Um I I liked it. Yeah, did you I, like it? Okay, cool. Um i I'd, I'd be interested in more of that world. I yeah, don't so know I. how it, it's one of those movies where I don't know if I necessarily need a sequel. But, it's a good one-off story. Yeah, yeah, but if they made a sequel, I'd check it out. But I'm not, I'm not signing a fucking petitions to get one. No, like everybody God. signs fucking petitions. Um, they really work. I <laughs> <laughs> hey, nine out of ten people that sign a petition is, didn't really mean to. Is a group of Karens. Mm-hmm. Like that's that's what I always think of when people are doing petitions. It's a bunch of women named Karen. And they're just like, sign this petition. Like, we have to really stand up for this. We have to protect the turtles with the straws going in their noses. Like, what the fuck has turtles ever done for us? I went to lunch but get in the fucking week, way. And they so, and, and they had they presented us with paper straws. And I was just appalled. Uh, yeah, enough with that already. <laughs> oh, they soggy, limp. You know, and look, yeah, I, understand, I, understand slimy. That, I understand that the straw is a luxury. Like, I understand that. Conceptually, True. I don't need it. No, I never no, use straws. No. But you know what? Survival of the fittest. <laughs> yeah. Well, that we're like we're talking about that at work with population and shit. Like, eh, like I was looking at some shit. And they're like, 
estimate it by whatever year we'll be at 11 billion unless something comes along and kills us i hope um same, same. like i, I feel energy. Like, no i'm 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 trying to stick around a little bit relax everybody <laughs> Let's make but it but it's like my um co-worker i think one of her kids isn't vaccinated i don't know that's the one that's not gonna make it um <laughs> <laughs> I, oh. I actually had a old classmate um that I, I put up something about anti-vaxxers and she sent me up. You told me. It, it, it was handled maturely mm-hmm. and I I felt bad, but I didn't feel too bad because, uh, you know. The anti-vaxxer memes are phenomenal. Well, fucking, I, yeah, can't, I, mean, I can't think yeah. of one right off the top Phil's of my already got one foot in the grave. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now. Um, but what if you have a, what if your baby's going on leap year and you don't vaccinate? How old is that baby live to? Three. Okay, I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, I thought I thought you I thought it was you know, I thought you were lining me up. Was gonna... <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll talk about that. The whole population thing is like, look, we're we're curing all these things, and Thanos was right. All right, Thanos. <laughs> Fuck. I mean, Joe no, finally has no, I've always agreed with Thanos. Though. I mean, um, in, they're burning off. Sh- Australia right now. I, you know, I like yeah. Australia though. I don't like the creatures like like those like spiders and shit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. but but like, like kangaroos and shit. We can can, keep kangaroos are awesome. Yeah, 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 I love yeah, yeah, kangaroos. Yeah, yeah. That I, I think I posted a video recently of a dude boxing a kangaroo. And that kangaroo fucked that dude. Oh, up. absolutely. Yeah, every every time. Time. Fuck around. He stood yeah, up on his tail, time. kicked him straight in the stomach, and the dude dropped. Yeah, like, they, mm. they, they flex yeah, on you too. Like they flex on you. They square off like. Just waiting them to put some Tims on in the corner. <laughs> kangaroos are not fucking around. Follow bears, but um, well, cute. They're, yeah. they're marsupials, not bears. I, I, I remember I wrote that somewhere, and a whole group of Karens came at me. Check out the big brains like, on Dante. No, no, check <laughs> out the big brains on those Karens. <laughs> they came at me. Well, they're not technically bears, yeah, but that's the name. Fuck. Oh, they told all you. Of they them. told you. Fuck I got them. you. And, but they're and, called koala bears. That's the common name. Yeah. yeah. But also, as I was told too, like. Hey, I close my eyes to go to sleep. Well, you're closing your eyelids. So, like, you know, fuck people and their fucking yeah, things like that. that. That's why they need to die. Actually. Exactly. If Thanos needs to come in and handle fucking business. Half of those and, motherfuckers won't be around anymore. And people are like, well, what if you're part of that selected group that Great. doesn't make it? Huh? Okay. It was my time. Yeah. Fuck them. Like, I'm not saying I'm trying to head out. No. It could be a lot worse, but, man. you know. You if, have cancer. I mean, uh, I mean <sighs> um, cancer in the butt. Anybody but else? Cancer. Like, like colon cancer. Can't, that's, yeah, that's, that's polyps. Well, I mean, but people get colostomy bags for that. Let's just get that's into Schindler's List right now. Just get, <laughs> let's get all the dark shit out of the way. <laughs> let's just do it. Can we get through? Uh, 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 Joe still has a nerd week. <laughs> yeah, so through. do I. Oh, yeah, 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 so do you. So. I think that might have been my nerd week. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think. Right. I, I, if I remember, as I always do, yeah, bring I'll it interrupt up. you. <laughs> we went to watch Star Wars, me and Bobby. We did. We'll probably talk about that, hopefully, if we have time. We didn't get ice cream because I think they were closed for some reason. Oh, the call first was closed? I, or I it's look, not call first And it was also something. snowing. It was snow, but I looked else. in there and it was dark. Yeah. yeah. There was no one in there. Else. Otherwise, yeah. I would have stopped. So, so, I don't care if it's snowing because I have ice cream. Yeah, so the ice cream shop closes when it snows? No. No, no. It might have just been closed on but, the whatever. But to me, snow. snowing is a weird vibe to get ice cream. I, like in my head, walking out of the ice cream shop, like giving it, a, giving the old cone a side lick. Uh... <laughs> So, flakes? so uh, I'm with a, flakes, I'm going to interrupt you. Landing on my perfect. nose. That's, that's, there you nah, go. That's your title. moment. I don't know Picture perfect. I'm going to interrupt you and let you finish. I was in Times Square this weekend, oh, or this whoa, week. Whoa. Yeah. whoa. Let them know. Major flex. Not that, that Mexico, <laughs> Mexico, 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 Mexico. Mexico. So you, no, it was right, not. So you're, you're walking out of the Mexico office. Continue. No, I was not. <laughs> I, 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 Did you drop a pallet off? <laughs> not not this month. Um uh, and I saw a guy, it was cold as balls. I was actually there for a work event. Um, I, I had a lecture time, so I walked around Times Square. Wait, you, you gave a lecture? Give a lecture? You said you had a lecture time. You gave a lecture? I didn't say that. Oh, you, I okay. Just, that's why I thought you said too. No, I was there for a work. I had some free time. I'm uh, sorry. Ah, okay, okay. Anyways, uh, there were, it was cold as balls. I mean, it was, I don't know what the temperature was. It was probably 20 degrees and windy as Much hell. colder than it is right now. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. It's fucking degrees out right now. Crazy. And uh, those people in the costumes there was a woman there and like she had on like a halter dress like doing the statue of liberty gimmick Oof. and it was i mean i was freezing to death and i had a great big coat but i saw a guy that night when we went back out for dinner <laughs> licking on an ice cream cone walking on the road i'm don't, like Damn. don't do that sound <laughs> <laughs> slurpity derpity there's no wrong time slurpity derpity there's a title there's no bad time I, I mean i'm gonna be honest with you i'm, I'm right there with you yeah. i love ice cream yeah it's, a, yeah. it's the best yeah. but Even in the snow yes nah, but i never had it in the snow something seems strange you had about snow it. cream 
I don't know what that Always is. Like, <laughs> I feel like uh, Miami. Hey, look. Yeah. I, I, like the, I like the yellow. What, 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 hey, what's that? <laughs> Snow cream. You knew where that was going. <laughs> Snow cream sounds like something. The, the, yellow, the yellow. Oh, that's the name of a favorite. porn. Oh, God bless. Uh, so hopefully, we'll have a chance to talk about Star Wars. Um, oh, I forgot. What, what, did you, what do you give it, though? Quick score, in case we don't. As, as someone who likes Star Wars, a B, as like a regular movie, like C minus, maybe? Okay. So the opposite of the way Bobby scored it. So I will say, after seeing it a second time, I liked it a bit more. Okay. okay. But it's the ending, man. And, and I also realized it's not necessarily the movie that I don't like. It's ha- what the movie means for the saga that I don't like. Yeah, That's fair. I, I can get that. That's fair. It's just wild. Like, the ending from what point? From... Uh, pretty much from when the emperor. So, if you remember, <clears throat> uh, Ray and spoilers, Ray and Kylo come into the emperor's chamber. Mm-hmm. They square off against the emperor, mm-hmm. start and making then, out, and then the emperor says, "What a lovely pit behind you! It'd be a shame if somebody threw you into it." And then throws Kylo mm-hmm. into the pit. From that point forward, yeah. I'm out. Okay, I'm out. Continue. Um, oh, I want. I want to say, Bobby. Yeah. Happy New Year. <laughs> uh-huh. People say, didn't know Bobby you loves say, hearing Happy New Year way deep into the February. <laughs> uh, Fong hit me up on the first and said Happy New Year for 2019. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. No, the table's just shifts. Phil, Phil's you know he's he's only got. <laughs> I don't have it. Yeah, you're trying to work it out. Hey, 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 hey. I was hey, listen, you don't have a leg to no, stand I'm, on. I've got it. Like, <laughs> listen, we, we already have four legs on this table. Yeah. So we don't need We've got a real lead foot over here. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you guys remember, like a, a while ago, I watched the, the season three of a volleyball anime. I remember you talking about yep. that. Yes, yeah, yeah, volleyball girl, anime. My, girl, my girlfriend and uh, my, my wife mm-hmm. and her mm-hmm. friends. Mm-hmm. 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 sound right. Watching and I just sat down and watched and I was fucking enthralled. It is now season one and two is on Netflix in English. Mm-hmm. I watched fifty episodes, all fifty episodes in the last three and a half days. Holy shit! I, I watched while I was driving. Oh, watch while I was driving. driving. Oh, I, I watched it any moment I had. I just finished on my way he- home tonight. Episode fifty in the car, but yeah, it's great. Great, it's Haiku, H A I K Y U U. That's a poem. That that it's Japanese. <laughs> Analyze Japanese, but it's, it's it's fucking great. Makes me want to fucking watch some volleyball and play some volleyball. I love. Well, I'm volleyball. down to. I might be down to watch some volleyball. I will not play it. <laughs> Why are you saying no, that? No, I have friends. It's that, not like you have like yeah. four, four no, 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 no. This this one dude. Um, every sum, during volleyball. the summer, he's he always sends me texts like, "Yo, we're we're getting together to play volleyball. Mm-hmm. You in?" Like, no, fuck. You. So how, how many years has he been sending you this message? The last three years. And you, you haven't gone once. I went once, and okay. I did not enjoy it. Oh, fair enough. I, I, I did very well, is it but I didn't enjoy it. But I think also part of that though too is like so I didn't care for the level of competition. <laughs> it, 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 it's kind of that thing. Like, all right, I, tr- I tried your thing. Come try my thing. Come over and get you know get your tied arm, up, arm broken out. or something. Or get choked. Like, no, oh, I can't. I got to like stretch and like you know my back is bad. Like, most see of your you, your whole risk strategy starting to feel more appropriate. Now. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> <laughs> look, I'm 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 a nice guy. All right. I, I know. I, like, I know. You I just are. want people to play my games too. That's, like, That's fair. Like, even if I invite them to play Risk, I, you know, I'd be okay with that. I wouldn't even hit them. <laughs> I would hug. I, I would hug people. Now, if you eliminate me in Risk, I would be really, really sweet about it. I'm not playing you in any board game unless I have your therapist on call. <laughs> Continue, Joe. <laughs> and. <laughs> And another anime that's also in English that just came out on Netflix that I liked and have watched in the past is uh, Cells at Work. If you, it's, it's fun. C C E L L. Like they're they're blood cells, but made into characters. You actually can learn something if you watch it. Okay. Oh, so it's all about hematology. Yes. Oh. And okay. it's pretty relatively accurate. They talk about macrophages wow. and everything. Really? Have your, have your kids watch it? Oh wow. Uh, I'm- <laughs> Who's the animation studio? Wait a minute. I don't know. It's a good one. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's good anime. Like you follow uh, the red blood and cell and, and the white blood cell. Yeah, it's on Netflix. Right, they have fucking killer well, T cells. Is it about, is it about, about hematology there, Phil? Yeah. Or is it? Well, I mean, that B is one cells, of the things I've studied, so. Phil, that you're not only not only your mic, but you also have a top hat. 
<laughs> Relax. <laughs> Mm. Well, is that about hematite? Oh. <laughs> I didn't know I was in a house of learned doctors. Did you, uh, <laughs> Phil left his monocle in the car. <laughs> hey, man, I had to hobble in here. <laughs> that's right. He was afraid the monocle would be damaged. <laughs> but, yeah, I think that's about Oh, I, and I, I stopped using Facebook. Feed. Yeah. I only use it for notifications. And Dude, messages. Instagram is better. Hmm? Instagram is better. If you yeah. need something to pass yeah, the time, I mean, like, it's just... look, look, people, like, yeah, the world is a fucking serious place. There's a lot of serious shit going on, but like, I don't care, really. I don't need to know. It just makes me upset for no reason because I'm not doing anything about it. Yeah. So I just because I cur- like curated my feed for a while now, and it's been great. But like, just full time job though, huh? It cur- it's a full time job. I mean, I, I just, I just unfriend people, unfollow things that yeah. post things I don't want to see. But like lately, just everybody's in on it, and I'm like. Fuck it, I'm out. You know what my favorite things to do is um, I've liked NBC News at some point in time. So every once in a while, I'll get whatever mm. the comments on. <laughs> it, it doesn't matter if it's you know twins rescued from a well. The comments are going to be just should have left them down there and, <laughs> never, or whatever. Never or, or if it's never comments of anything. Oh, dude, yeah. but they're great. They, they they're upset great. Me. I, 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 I think they're funny. Them. I just get a kick out of it. Um, and I'll often I'll hole. often type the yeah. best thing today are this, this, this comment. I'm just like, what's wrong with people, man? That's that's all I think about. Like, like, They're honestly, human beings. Like, what is wrong with people? That well, like, it's just it's just so everybody's <laughs> everybody's opinion but people is is but see that's the thing. People have always been ridiculous. No, it's just no, Facebook platform. has an outlet. It's just that their platform. their opinions haven't been instantly accessible to you. Because you'd have to spend time with these low lives in order to read their fucking opinions or know their fucking opinions. But now their opinions are hitting your radar. That's like, you but know, it, I bought it, I bought a lint roller the other day on Amazon. Weird flex, okay. Uh, no, <laughs> it, seriously, it, it is a weird flex. And I just happened to notice that there was like 370 reviews. Of Who the lint, fuck of a lint roller? is writing a review wow. for a lint roller? Karen. Karen. <laughs> There's I'll a bunch look. of Karens. And you know how a lint roller works. They're not perfectly straight sheets. They're, they're angled, so you tear them off. They're all just triangles. There's not even enough material. What the fuck? Do you not know how a lint roller works? Yeah. That just boggles my mind. Who, t- who takes the time? But see, it just reinforces that I've always been right, even before the internet, that people are fucking ridiculous. I've always thought that. Mm-hmm. And this just You're not wrong. reminds me, yes. People, we need Thanos. Because now, you know, again... Your voice can be heard. Everybody thinks that we want to hear their voice. And it's like, no. Well, it's, it's that it's all equal. You know, that's the problem is that everybody's equal. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's a weird, Don't misread that's a weird, that. weird Don't, thing to say at this table. <laughs> Don't misread that. I mean, let me, let me explain that before that gets turned into a meme. Everyone's the, uh, opinions. Too late. <laughs> everyone's opinions aren't equal. See, that's the thing is that like if – like we are all sitting at this table and we can all have our opinions at this table and there's a there's a mutual respect and sort of understanding of everyone's level of human being mm. where the opinions mean something but we don't we're exposed now to people that are like fucking low lives and now their opinions are mixed up in the same circle of opinions of everybody else's and I know that sounds elite but I don't mean it that way but it's just that like not everybody's opinion is equal as you it's, said. It's like not, it's it's, it's if you're not. not educated, if you're, and I don't mean that in terms of going to school. No, educated, but, in, but, but just like if you don't, if you don't know on. what the fuck you're talking about, and you're talking about some shit, I, and like I deal with it regularly. Yeah, um, yeah if yeah, you get yeah. your news strictly from memes, you probably should not have an opinion. On yeah, anything. Uh, like all your health and sciences. Don't, even even today, people argues with me about drugs, and I'm like, I'm okay. Go ahead, do what do what you want. This video I put out today on uh. The death of third party chug, mm-hmm. you know, and people saying like, mm. well, well, it's not dead because I buy some chug to supplement my masterpiece line. And it's like, what the fuck are you talking about? That, that's not, that's even not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. Also gross. <laughs> 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 I'm just, not, yeah. I'm out. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, do you have anything else, Joe? Or could, uh, uh, okay, so I, I have a very small nerd week. I did have my physical. Ah, for the year. And Let me get the whistle ready. Yeah. I'm ready. Pillar of health. 
No, I, I, no, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't got my results. But my my my, my blood pressure, my resting blood pressure was like one twelve over sixty four. Wow. Yeah. My my uh, my my. Hey, resting... you're, you're speaking his language, right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Me like that. My resting my re- my pulse rate was uh, seventy two. I think sixty eight, seventy two. Some uh, one of the two. Uh, I'm horrible at all that shit. I don't know yeah, what don't, any of that means. So they told me like it's the lower so, is the better. Yeah, mostly. yeah. Unless you're dead, unless it's too yeah, low. Zero, zero. But is like not good. Uh, 120 over 80 is normal blood pressure. Yeah. 60 to 100 is normal pulse, and uh, my my O2 saturation was. 90, Shoot, ninety. They go that deep, huh? Ninety-eight. Last 99. time I did a little cuff at Walmart, they had to call the manager because it got stuck. <clears throat> yeah, well, they <laughs> told me. Giant of a dude. So they told me because I, when I got, uh, I didn't have a hundred on my uh, my O2 saturation. It was like ninety-eight, and they were like, no, no, no. They were like, actually a hundred. We're thinking is bad these days. Ninety-nine is as high as we want to see people, wow. which I thought was weird. Um, but uh, yeah, no, I, I, everything looked good. Passed my stress test and all that. Okay. That fucking thing where you got to blow through the fucking tube, so to as speak. Much, as long as you can. I fucking hate that, that the, shit. the balls thing? Like the no, but it's similar. Like but it, it's just like... You have to empty out your entire lung. You yeah. try to anyway. It's just like, Straining and straining. I fucking hate it. And like... Uh, it's not, I feel like it's never good enough for them. Like I do, and it's not. I do one, yeah. and it's like that's good. And I do one, and it's better than that. And they're like, that's good. And then I do one that's like the first one. They're like, ah, oh, well, we know you can do better now, so we'd prefer it to be up here. It's like, well, wait, wait a minute. Don't fucking punish me for the good one. You know that was uh, that, that was a fluke. Like I'm showing you the average, and the end of the average is fine. Just give me that. No, you need to collapse your lung completely. God bless. And I, I hate like. I hate being poked and prodded through the whole process. Yeah. Oh, you don't like that? Mm. Like you just you go. <laughs> <laughs> that's Joe's a good day. Joe gets a physical every month. <laughs> every month, he's every, that's an average Tuesday. For Joe's Joe. healthy as fuck. Um, I check all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Do you use two fingers or three? That depends on the day. <laughs> so, um, make sure you clip your nails before you go in. So I yes, got, I have definitely. Oh, and I think I got a. Sh- I think I got a shit on a stick next week, next year. Shit on the stick. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm, yeah, forty. Yeah. Oh, that's true. well, no, because I mean, oh well, no, I'm not built like they that. said. They s- they said it though. They're like, they're like, no. you want to do the such and such test? And in my head, I was like, I don't know what that means, but that sounds like shit on a stick. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's yeah, because colonoscopy is not till fifty. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. yeah, they pushed a lot of that shit back. Like my 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 Unless father has history. well, my father has prostate cancer, and I asked to get up for an exam mm-hmm. and when I was like. 38, and they said, nah, you're good. I asked twice they a just week. Is that what you're rubbing your upper lip, Bob? <laughs> By, um, lower, hey, lower. Okay. I, uh, they ran my PSAs, and it was fine, though. So. Right. Yeah, I mean, so we'll see how my blood work is and all that. And, but so far, so good. Turned out all right. Uh, but like uh, another thing is, like when a lady obviously can't hit the vein when she's trying to get your blood. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's bad. It's obnoxious. And, like, how many attempts do they do? Attempts are vials. No attempts. Just oh attempts. Just, yeah attempts. Uh, I think only two. Okay, I think only two. That's that's happened to me less than a handful of times in my life. Yeah, yeah usually it, it, usually this place like where I go to like they nail it. Did they have to do a butterfly or do they automatically do a butterfly needle? Uh, I don't. Uh, they butterfly. Use, uh, I, I, oh, that's look, old. I don't know that much about they needles. They have it look regular. With a regular grown ass man. Like yeah, yeah. you right know there. I have an easy vein. So I don't. I, can't I don't want to brag, but I always get compliments on how big my easy veins stick. are. Easy yeah. stick. Easiest vein in the world. But my wife is like sometimes yeah, I have, have, have to call somebody so else over. To, I've never had a problem before. Yeah, this should okay. you shouldn't. That's yeah. Like yeah. Dude, dude. yeah, but this time I had a problem. Anyway, yeah. she she uh she started filling it up, and I'm like I'm like looking over at the table, I'm like. You didn't fill all of them? Yeah, four vials, right, usually. Six. Six. Huh? What's wrong with you? You're, get, you're getting so, older, so, you're getting you're getting older So normally it is four. four yeah, four. You know, right. But like, it was six vials. And they were like, ah, oh, different places want different things. I was yeah. like, well, who the f- what, what, what fucking vampire did you sign up to? Like, <laughs> Sounds like the Marpers. You yeah, want your DNA. Yeah, they were like, they were like, they were like, uh, do you want something after this? I was like, I, I guess probably. Fuck. <laughs> Did they give you a cookie and some yes. orange juice? No, they gave me it was, like, it was like a breakfast, like a honey and oats breakfast bar or something. It was have trash. you ever? Yeah, trash. Trash. Curious, trash. Have you ever donated? Uh, no. Really? No. I'm surprised. Nah. I used to I'm donate. I'm not 100 percent sure. With, I'm not 100 percent sure. I'm. I feel like I feel like in order to donate, I would want to go somewhere and be like, look, make sure I'm 100. I don't even know my blood type. 
Yo, the, the you questions, don't have to. I just they, they test automatically. Out. The so. questions they ask you when you get blood are why. One of the questions is, did you yeah. have sexual contact with a man yeah. in Europe during ni- between yeah. 95 yeah. and 98? There was some like horrible plague so. that happened in the... Uh, wait, but they wait, ask wait, you wait, that wait. specific 95 question. 95 and 98. I'm like, mm, <laughs> like, what month? <laughs> well, <laughs> is it early 95 or late 95? Because uh, it's all kind of a blur. You're on 99. Am I good? Like, yeah. Okay. Yeah, 99 for sure. I'd like to see Joe's answer for that. What? No, no. no I'm clean. I'm clean. Well, I, I can't donate blood. I, I donated. Actually, that's how I found it when I was in high school. I donated blood once, okay. and then they called me. And you seen the movie Outbreak? You seen the movie Outbreak? Right. So. Some weird shit with my blood that I can't donate. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like I have like too many white blood cells and HIV. Red blood cells are weird. <laughs> So I really? watched. Yeah, they're, um, like, they're like small. They're creative. They're know. like. You know what? I was watching. I ask, I'm curious, so I'll ask that, you later. That Dirty Dancing dog you said, said HIV. The the director of that died of HIV of AIDS in like '93. Yeah, and, was oh, sad okay. About I thought you lining me up. No, okay. no, 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 no. I wasn't. Everyone I wasn't. So that's but, but like, you don't hear. You don't. You don't hear about people. Like, yeah. You really even been it, sick it, from except anymore. for the two people I know. Yeah. Yeah, we're just crazy. By the way, I don't know. I don't think I know anybody. The one for sure gave up. He knew, and he gave up. The other one, I don't. I, I think it, they just caught it late and mm. it had already advanced to full HIV yeah. or full AIDS. Yeah. Okay. I mean, people have come back from full AIDS with drugs. Yeah. That's true, but it's, it's, it's super magic. Rare. So I watched no? a Netflix show. You'll all be very proud of me. How long did it take? Started and finished flip? within a week. Um, it took me probably about 20 minutes to find it. How many episodes? Don't fuck with cats. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh, I saw that in my feed. I've it was, heard it's good. It was three episodes. Okay, uh, it's oh. fascinating, and yeah. th- they describe the the guy. So it's about this guy. The he, guy. He put up a video. Uh, one boy, two kittens. That's where it all started. <laughs> on, killed, on YouTube. Yeah, okay. where he killed these two cats. He put them in a oh, vacuum shit. seal bag and he stuck the vacuum in and suffocated these cats. Holy shit! Oh, and um, I could do that to him. Yeah, so that's where it started, and. Like, I don't want to do too many spoilers. Uh, he ended up killing a human on YouTube. Whoa. And, yeah. And then, Whoa. yeah. And so people were hunting him down from the cat shit. They weren't even, I mean, they cared about the human, but they were really worried about these cats. Same. I have the same feels. Yo, he duct taped this cat to a mop stick and stuck that what? shit in a tub. Dude. Yeah, actually, uh, one of my students, uh, last month, someone killed his cat. Wow. Uh, his neighbor. Uh, yeah, fucking, fucking killed his cat and it, the, the kid was you know he was really really broken up about it yeah. and wow fucking people are sick. BJJ right use it well, I, I mean, mean cat's an asshole though then that's a different cats story. are a little cunty yeah. but I mean <laughs> should they be killed no most of the time they're not gonna bother anybody though yeah they're, they're just uh-huh. you know doing cat shit I knocking shit off tables I, I mean look I don't okay, want any cool. cats to be tied to a mop stick but yeah ex- exactly um, gives the moppers a bad name Bobby uh, you know what we're out here every day trying to make a difference no. and, okay so <laughs> the last thing you need <clears throat> so we uh, so then he gets up he ends up being on Interpol's most wanted like all this shit the, the dude is so vain. He's just trying to become an internet celebrity. He's so vain. He ends up going to an internet cafe. Wait, is he based in the States or based in, in Europe? He's all, so he's he's from Toronto. Uh-huh. Drake shit. You know, Ohio <laughs> seems about right. <laughs> so, yeah. So, so he, but he ends up at like an internet cafe in Germany or some fucking wow. where. And he goes in just to see his face as like the top 10 most wanted. And they nab him. And they nab Like the, the internet cafe guys recognized him oh, and shit. phoned it in. But like, Jeez. but the, here's the fucking thing. It's fucking spoilers because it's fucking interesting. You don't need to watch it. It's not that, it, and it's fucking, it's fucked up to watch this If you get upset guys. that he's spoiling it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so look, so look, just, just roll with me. So they take him and they show the interrogation of the cops with this guy. And he's like shaking and like sort of sitting there, like kind of all timid. And then he's like, "Can I? Can I have a cigarette?" And they're like, "Yeah." So they give him a cigarette. And he takes a cigarette and he and he's, he like lets the guy light it for him. And then he crosses his legs and he's like answering the questions and shit. So he killed the dude that he killed. He killed with a screwdriver, oh, right? Shit. Yeah. But he painted the screwdriver like an ice pick. All right, work. Now follow me. Now follow me. I think I see where this was going. Dude's a huge basic, basic instinct, instinct fan, yep. Yep. and he re 
he was replaying the interrogation scene of Sharon Stone while he was being interrogated. Oh my God. Yeah. Asking for his cigarette, asking for the cigarette to be lit, crossing his legs afterwards. Like he wow. was hitting the whole, like he was still in performance mode. Wow. Yeah. This guy was like, look, he's, he's brilliantly psychotic. Yeah. Why don't we just fucking kill him? Yeah. But he went to jail for life and shit. Uh, uh, waste. Waste. Um, but anyway, like, uh, there was something there. There was something about it. That I was like, man, it's fucking fascinating. It's fucking fascinating. Yeah, like out there. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I don't think I. Wa- I try to watch this Power Grace Cole documentary on Netflix. Uh, it's about He Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I keep falling. Is that the one that? Yeah, I think I watched it a while ago, yeah, but I keep cool. falling asleep. So on it, it, now. it 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 parallels a lot with the Toys and Made Us episode, of right? Yeah, so, the, right. but it's a lot more. Infl- like they talk the about de- Frank Langella a lot, and like he was just, like really helped get the yeah. production along and stuff. Yeah. Really? Yeah, he was yeah. a lot more involved with it than you would imagine. He wasn't huh. just showing up to set and put this shit on my face so we can talk for an hour. <laughs> I, <laughs> so saw, I, I saw you got this. Did you get a chance to read it? Yet? No. Okay. No. No. It, d- anything sitting on that shelf hey, is stuff. It's it's in the queue. <laughs> Any, anything sitting on that shelf is in the queue. <laughs> notice <laughs> notice those novels are up there. That, that's the primary queue. Lots yeah. of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> put, 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 put the Injustice Masters this, universe in this that is file. the this is the the power is out queue over here. <laughs> <laughs> that's the honey bring me my book light. That's the anybody got a candle queue. Um all right, so let's move on. We have ageism in the future. Uh Patrick Stewart comments on uh, the fucking Star Trek guy Gene Roddenberry mm-hmm. hating on him. Yeah, yeah, that was interesting. Which is a, which is a very un Gene Roddenberry. Yeah, he's like a very progressive. accepting. Yeah, yeah, the whole. I'm gonna bit. interrupt you and I'm gonna let you finish, please. But I just randomly watched an episode of Star Trek: The Next Generation. Oh, great show. It was just on in the hotel this week. It was a. Uh, it's actually pretty good. I, I haven't whole, watched that as an it's, adult. It's, it's good. I mean, the effects Season are one cheesy. Season one shaky, but everything else after that. I don't know where this was. So Roddenberry felt Stewart was too old and too bald to succeed Shatner's swaggering <laughs> James T. Kirk. I do not want to hear Patrick Stewart's name mentioned ever again <laughs> in connection with the next generation, he said. You know what my man said? How wrong he is. <laughs> I don't want to hear any more about uh, Patrick Stewart. Uh, Patrick Stewart, yeah. <laughs> I try to tell you that's some true man shit. Um... Patrick Stewart said, "God, I wish he had not died when he did. I have a lot of respect for Gene, and I have to and I have to say also gratitude. I know more than once I caught him sitting in the director's chair, looking at me, and I knew he was thinking, How the fuck did we end up with this guy?' So the dude, everybody loves him. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean he's very well respected and renowned for that role. Yeah. But Robin Barry was like, get this fucking old bald fuck the fuck out of here. So there you go, Star Trek." So much better captain than Kirk. Okay. Best Star Trek movie, yeah. Trekkies. No, <laughs> no. no. Best fact. Star Trek movie is definitely what should we call? Con? Best Star Trek movie is um, fanboys when they go to the Star Trek convention, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's uh, is, Seth Rogen. You, <laughs> place the guy. Let's, 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 let's. He was like, "You see this fucking Jar Jar Binks? This guy's gonna be the <laughs> no, shit." No, it's uh, Galaxy Quest. Yeah, that's, that's the, the that's best one. Star Trek that's movie. the best Star Trek movie. Yo, collabo, uh, GI Joe. Hasbro is. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to. I guess collaborating with Jazzwares for GI GI Joe franchise. So the his tank website documented it. They said at the moment we don't have a lot of information regarding the licensing agreement, but we can confirm that the big reveal is set to take place during this year's Toy Fair. Since Hasbro is directly manufacturing G.I. Joe toys, it is likely that Jazzwares will contribute from the accessory front. These kind of agreements are not new for both companies as they work together for the Nerf toy line for the hit action series. Jazzwares 4-inch and 6-inch toy lines for the Fortnite franchise is a super hit among Fortnite fans and G.I. Joe fans alike. Uh, what the two companies are cooking under wraps will surely be a surprise this year. So the the Fortnite figures do look good. And I don't think they'd necessarily be a bad player to do. <laughs> Your top hat fell off your microphone. Um <laughs> The, uh, I, don't, I don't think they'd necessarily be a bad contendy for a G.I. Joe line. Well, if they end up – and I don't know what ex- – Hasbro is making G.I. Joe right now. What accessories are they going to be making? That makes no sense. I think that's smoke and mirrors, so to speak. Could be. Um, I, I think that – I mean, I've got some of those Jazzwares figures, and they're 
articulated out the ass. I How are they build wise and everything? Like honestly, what have they, what have they made? I, I don't just do, they do Fort, Fortnite. They, they, I've never oh, heard of the company. Prior, yeah. I Google okay. the company. Like there's nothing about them out there in the wind. Hmm. Um, like you know who's the parent company, or whatever. But oh. they they do a, they do a Fort line Fort line. A Fortnite character that's actually a six inch figure and not a seven inch like McFarland. Okay. Um, <laughs> and they're su- they're super articulated. Um, okay. And there's been so many. F- there's a lot of Fortnite homages. Like there's basically a Firefly from GI Joe. That's yeah, I saw that. Okay. There's and a lot of people have been using them for customs and stuff. Anyway, so I don't know. It's it's not the direction I uh, would have seen them going, but it's, I think it's interesting to see what'll happen at Toy Fair. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I think that there's. I think that there's definitely room for a six inch GI Joe line. Mm-hmm. You know, I would be curious to see if they went classic or like some sort of modern. Well, I did see today that they've announced a name that it's like GI Joe Origin Snake Eyes. Um, you know, mm-hmm. last time they used Origins in the movie, well, uh, Deadpool didn't have a mouth, but um, <laughs> they did announce that. So I was told a long, long time ago that the they were that Hasbro was going to launch a six inch line to coincide with the next movie that would be a mixture of those characters and classic r- characters as yeah. well but right. uh you know this movie's gone through three or four different versions before they ever announced the title so would you be in for a six inch G.I. Joe line I might buy them at the time. I don't know. I don't know. I I, I, later. It's fine. I mean, that is honestly when I was a kid. That's what I was. I was much more into GI Joe than any other toy line. I had a, we had a, like a, over a hundred figures. That's and, why I asked, though. Yeah, I think I would be if it was done well. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I, I I'd be glad to see something GI Joe on the shelves again. Yeah, me too. Uh, but I think they're in a hard spot with it's a war toy and it's it's just not yeah, not war is not. War has become something else. It has become something else. I mean, wars yeah. every day. When was the last time we weren't in a war? So that's normal. Well, uh, right. But it's not... The public perception... It's not Ronald Reagan's different. 80s, yeah. though, right. yeah. about war. I mean, we have the Space Force. Definitely get some Space Force figures. Right. And you I'm, do the Centurions based on that. There you go. I love Centurions. Yeah, I, th- I think that uh, when G.I. Joe in the 80s, it was like, uh, you know, I think after Operation, like Desert Storm, Desert Shield, all that shit... What war means for the United States, I feel like, changed. Well, war was also televised with Desert yeah. Storm. Yeah, yeah, So yeah, I yeah, think yeah, that yeah. opened everyone's eyes yeah. up differently. My buddy Scott, I wish I could have – maybe I can get him in one time to talk about his experience. He fought in that war. And he, Desert like, Storm? Yeah, mm-hmm. and he talks about it. Like He's like, he's like it would drive you nuts because like, you would – all I did was walk and dig and hide. Like we walked for days and then we dig – for days and then we'd stay where we dug for days and then we'd walk and rinse and repeat basically like and he's like you just live in this constant state of like oh fuck it this fucking mustard gas shit is just gonna hit like you know but you don't ever really see any shit you're just, and he was a marine and that shit but interesting dude uh he i also, mean i'm sorry you look at the history of gi joe they went from a uh, the, the 12 inch figures back in the day they went from a war toy to Adventure team, you know, the yeah, scuba, scuba divers, scuba heroes. Yeah. and that is really? because of the yeah. the political climate at right, the time. Vietnam, ain't nobody having it, so right. they're like, oh, let's go another direction. I mean, World War II was the last time we had like, a quote unquote good war. I feel like, right? Uh, That's, that and after, after that was when GI Joe and shit was popular. And yeah, well, that it, that shit came out right, you know, during the Vietnam era, really. Um, and you know, they made some decisions then, so it'd be interesting to see where that, that actually comes to. The I light. think they probably could have. Got it off, so to speak, after nine eleven, when everybody was riding that. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, well, the the patriotism wave, yeah. right? So, you know what? This sounds crazy, but fucking have all the GI Joe characters dumped into to Fortnite or Battleground or something. Uh, then they're fucking video. They're video game characters, and they can have a trillion guns, and nobody cares. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. That's an idea. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Write that down. It was like that episode, uh, like the early episodes of The Toys That Made Us when they are talking about making toys. It's like we have to have a cartoon or a comic to go, uh, to go I with it. I think that was like the He-Man one. It was like we've got to have a comic to go with right. it. Right. And I, now it's something streaming. I mean it's yeah, something yeah. streaming or it's, yeah. it's a <clears throat> Twitch stream. I don't know. Mm-hmm. It'll be interesting to see how that, this all rolls out. And then I feel like for every military fucking event that we have, we have 10 Vice, 3 HBO, and 4 Netflix documentaries telling us how we fucked everything up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
You know, and then there'll be one Netflix shit hidden at the very <laughs> bottom that's like about the good shit in it. There's too much shit on that. I mean, there's too much content now. It's never, overwhelming. It's I overwhelming. Really that's that's why I'm done with Netflix. Like, it's too real much. war, though. What? Like the old school G.I. Joe. Right, 12 right. inch is, is they're soldiers, but like as a kid watching, like. Yeah, I never Joe, associated I never them with the real with the army. Yeah. It was like, like they were all in weird fucking right. Yeah, it was like hugs. superheroes. Yeah, they had like exactly. fucking laser guns and shit. And they were fighting like, fucking. Yeah. Cobra, it was like spirit like, with his his bald eagle. Was like like what branch are you in? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, just, they're fighting against you know, a terrorist organization. So it'd be interesting to see how they spun all that. Cause that tell, means yeah. something different than it meant. Dude, I'm gonna tell you right now yeah. the backlash of spirit in today's <laughs> time. Oh, oh man! From just from his folks alone, <laughs> it'd be like oh oh. That's how it's going to be? I mean, a lot of those characters... You better could, get your ass back to this reservation. Done. I mean, <laughs> it, the, those characters, a lot of those characters, you know, for us... Quick, quick kick. Come on, man. <laughs> I mean, look, <laughs> Roadblock always rhymed when he talked, and he was the sh- he was the chef. Yeah. I mean, he, he was always, you know, he was that jive guy. <laughs> he was, you know? Hey, he o- was, only you, Dante. He was the last you. human... He was, though. He I was mean, a, like... He was the last human that Cobra Command ever talked to. Oh, what? yeah. True, true. I mean, bla- yeah. uh, you know, you can put. I mean, a blaster turn into a boombox. Yeah. And rhyme. Jazz. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Jazz. 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 <laughs> even even in even in team? the Bay movie, jazz. Oh, it's too much. What about mm-hmm. the, the brothers? So to speak. Oh, 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 the, oh, the, uh, the ice cream, uh, ice cream, Tomax, J, and- J- R. No, no, no. Oh. From uh, from. Transformers, oh. the second film. Oh, Revenge um, of the Fallen. No, yeah, uh, Jr. used to call him one. Shuck and Jive. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, they, they gave him they gave I him a gold believe, tooth. I still and, can't believe that made lines. it into a fucking blockbuster movie to this day. Yeah, that mm. is wild. But like every like a lot of popular franchises have a Street Fighter has that, Mortal Kombat has that. Yeah, like you have Night Wolf and you have T Hawk. Yeah, you have Jax, yeah. Jackson Briggs, and Warpath from yeah. uh, X Men. Yeah. yeah. He's yeah, got to wear, yeah. like, the tassels and yeah, shit. Yeah. Come on, man. Come you ain't got to wear the tassels. Ex- well, I mean, but fucking, it's fucked up. His brother leotard, with a totem. <laughs> his brother Thunderbird was killed. It was yeah, like, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> what about Shaman and Alpha Flight? He was, failed, he was bring Shaman. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. No. Hmm. Native Americans, like, I don't know why I was like, like they're like, like, no, that's how we show respect. We just do the most stereotypical shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I heard I heard the uh, uh, Tim McGraw classic Indian Outlaw this past week and, and oh, it had man. to, uh, like, oh my God, this is awful. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is so, it's, uh, <laughs> you can find me in my wigwam. I'll be beating on my Tom Tom. <laughs> is that so a lyric? Terrible. Is that yeah, a, it's an actual pass me the song. pipe. Was, I'll smoke I, you. Sell me and pass that song. Like, but it, it just, I didn't. It, it I wasn't is, listening to the lyrics. Dude, I was like, I like. It is rough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. when you go back and listen to the lyrics, listen, it's like, man. oh wow, this is this is a terrible actually, there's song. A, there's a lot of of '90s country music that no one yeah. ever needs to hear. It's <laughs> really rough. <laughs> it's really terrible. All right, I need to watch this trailer real quick. But the next note is more keys than a janitor, and the lock and key official trailer for Netflix has hit, which I've now I have bad feeling about. But we'll see. Hold on. So let me get this straight. Mm -hmm. It's the dude from Lost slaying dope. Lock and key. (laughs) No. no. Anybody watch Lost? I I got you. I I, I get you. You walk on water. (laughs) Um, I don't know the source material. So I read the comic. It's not very good. It starts off strong and then it ends very Mm -hmm. weak. But it was highly regarded. Yeah, I know it's highly regarded. I just text Sarah because I I haven't read it yet. And I was asking her what she... It thought she's only read uh, volume one. She said she loved it. She wanted, you know, wanted to dig more into that world. Start strong. Is there so. is there a finite end to it? Like mm-hmm. there's so many graphic novels. Okay. How many how many books is it? Oh, you have them all. Okay, of course. Six. Okay. Okay. Six. Six is good. Six is good. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. Uh, so I don't know. We'll see. Um. I'll watch it. I always find things you know, like this. Um. There's been a few uh, image books that have gone to TV shows like Deadly Class, um, Outcast, stuff like that. And Outcast, I, yeah. I see the trailers so far in advance. I'm excited, but by the time they get there, I'm kind of I don't care. Mm. I, I think that's maybe a thing that's just going on now in this culture with movies and shows. You see a so trailer. much content, yeah. Well, that, but also you see the trailers so far in advance. Yeah, I'm with you on like, that. I don't. I like to see trailers close to when something's yeah. coming out. Like, give it to me, like you know, a week, this maybe is close. two weeks. This is February. Yeah, it's close. Yeah, this is like two weeks. I, I think. Well, 
it was oh well, yeah okay the trailer yeah that's still close i, I think i'm just burnt out already because i heard about it a while ago mm-hmm. and i was excited i was like oh i'm into it let me let me check it out seeing the trailer it, it, it i'll check it out but maybe you know i say that now but once february hits I think I'm going to have that same burnout again because I, I still want to see Outcast, but at the same time, it was like, uh, I read the comics. I like the comics. Comics are great. And I've heard the show was, you know, really good. Where is the show on? Showtime. Uh, Cinemax. Show time? Oh, oh, Cinemax. Cinemax. Okay. And, and that's what makes it tougher, too, because it's like people have that Showtime pass. It's like, okay, cool, but ain't nobody got Cinemax <laughs> pass. <laughs> yeah. Like, trust me, I've been, I've been searching out. I've been offering Disney. You like, got to hey, wait for that free weekend. Hey, yo, I'll give you Disney and UFC Fight Pass. You want and, the download code? And, and WWE. Do they still do Cinemax. free weekends? Yes. Really? They just they did an uh, HBO really? one recently. Really? Uh, very recently. My manager, she watched. Yeah. Uh, I, would, I, would, I, would, I would try to binge Outcast in a free weekend. If I was, I do um for Showtime because I have a lot of email addresses, so I like to take advantage of those free trials. Um, (laughs) Hey man, you gotta work the system. (laughs) Yeah, I I got uh, fifteen email addresses, Uh, maybe more. Dante one, Dante two, Dante three. (laughs) No, no, they're all like unique names. Is Dante even your real name? Uh (laughs) Fuck if I know. I did just get my birth certificate, so I'm getting that passport. So I get the fuck out of here. (laughs) uh, But um, but we get cinema or uh, Showtime and watch Shameless. Like we'll just binge it that weekend. Jesus, Jesus Phil, Christ, I'm sorry, Phil. I'm joking. Sorry, I didn't I, mean it. That's what you put your fucking feet on the table. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Um, but yeah, we'll binge something in a week and just like, all right, and we're done. So let me let me ask this. Moving on to the next note, what is going on with this new mutants? And should they change the name at this point to Old Mutants? Because they're <laughs> <laughs> it's two years old. <laughs> they ain't getting no younger. Um, the older the better, the sweeter. I didn't watch the trailer. I don't care to watch the trailer. I I just don't give a shit. I wish they would just put it straight to DVD. That that would Streaming? like I didn't want to straight like, to Disney Plus. Listen, yeah. old man, <laughs> put not gonna conform so to your I, way. Put it on Disney. I Plus. actually want to see this movie because so, c- you stuff. can't see it on Disney Plus. <laughs> yeah, but I, this is something I wanted to experience in the theater because it's a horror. It, film. Is it? Is it though? I, is it though? I don't know it if it necessarily odd. has to be. No, I, it doesn't have to be. But from my experience, I'll enjoy it more. I mean, I'm morbid. I'm morbid. 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 You know <laughs> the Eddie name. Murphy movie, <laughs> Morbid. Of course, I'm wearing bottoms. Um, <laughs> I've been asked that before. Uh, I totally lost my train of thought. So you don't know if you want to see it? Oh, because, it, I mean, I think it's going to be a, a fun romp train wreck. I think it's, I just, I think it's going to be so disjointed. And I think literally it's going to be like, all right, we have all this material. Okay. They have to Can know. Can you put this in some sort of order? They Nobody do. was confident to put it out. I, they just... Yeah. I mean, they've, they've been doing reshoots left and right, left and right, left and right, and finally they're like, all right, are we still going to put it out? Okay, all we've right. been doing reshoots so long, we have to de-age this dude now, <laughs> so it's not worth the money, so we're going to scrap the project. Disney Plus. Put that shit out. That'd be fine. But like, like, I don't think they're putting our rated stuff on Disney Plus, though. Oh, really? Yeah, There's nothing this is supposed to be rated R. It will go, go to Hulu. Hulu. They're putting, they're putting yeah. the, the nastiness on Hulu. <laughs> like the the nastiness. <laughs> Hey, who owns the rights to Indiana Jones? Do you know? Because because it's on um, it it just all all the movies are on uh, Netflix now. Yep. They just got on Netflix. Oh, it must so have it been some previous might have contract. Been, a, been yeah. an old yeah. deal. Okay. And then I saw um a Star TNT still I guess has TV rights to the Star Wars movies because one of them was on TNT the other day. So well, like Adventures in Babysitting pops up on Disney Plus and it says will be available. It's a far away date. Yeah, yeah. that's when the contract's up. Yeah, and then they, yeah. you know, we read into it. It's like, yeah. oh, a contract just, well, here. So. Just Last Jedi just popped up on Disney Plus. Yeah, yeah, no yeah, yeah. I saw that. So, I mean, they're getting that money. So, the debate over New Mutants that's still raging as of this morning because I saw some new YouTube feeds about it. Um, nobody really knows if what was said last night about it being in the MCU, how true that statement is. And nobody's redacted it yet. Someone broke my balls about it. Like I posted yeah. it immediately. Yeah, you know they jumped down my throat. Actually, but, but no one. There's been oh, no God, no official word. I hope. I, it's I know not. It's, it popped up last night. I was like, this cannot be true. What and if I was it, like, what if it retcons the entire run of X Men <laughs> stuff and just like this is the starting line? <laughs> Amazing. This, this can't be the way they they bring yeah. you. So to them. some people just want to watch the put world it on burn. An official yeah. Disney site, but it was uh, nobody knows. Nobody's mm. taking responsibility for it or made any comment about it. There's, there's, there's no way. Yeah. So I'm waiting for 
Feige or somebody more official to come put the foot down and say, no, this is not true or what what's going on. Speaking of footy, it- Scott Dickerson <laughs> exits the sequel of Doctor Strange, citing yeah. creative differences. He's still going to be executive producer. He says, Marvel and I have mutually agreed to part ways on Doctor Strange. I hate the industry. In the multiverse of madness due to creative differences. I am thankful for our collaboration. I hate the industry. And will remain on as executive producer. They're they're doing a decoupling. Uh, (laughs) There's a statement. I have amicably parted. uh, Marvel Studios confirmed. We have amicably parted (laughs) ways. Fucking Dickerson. uh, Derrickson will stay on as executive producer, et cetera, et cetera. So So he's he's still getting paid. Don't worry. Yeah, he's still getting paid. That's how he's getting paid. Hey, speaking of getting paid, I wanted to share this randomly in my Uh, YouTube. Continue on that in a second. Uh, an interview with Alec, Sir Alec Guinness from 1977 popped up. It's like a five minute interview. Uh-huh. Fucking fascinating. He got, and probably, I imagine his family gets in perpetuity, 2.25 points on everything that, made, that movie made at the box office. Really? Wow. Yeah. They originally gave him two, and then uh, he, he did a lot. He, he said when he got the script, it's like the script seemed very interesting, but the, the dialogue was just rubbish. So I guess he, re, he reworked a lot of the dialogue. Really? Yeah, which I thought was super interesting. Yeah, because awesome. he was like a big name actor back then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lawrence yeah, yeah. of Arabia was huge. Yeah, so and he didn't have a beard. It was just very strange. I would love to watch that interview. Just yeah, I'll find it into. Yeah, yeah. And then it's I would like to see that too. Another thing played right after, which it was I'm sure you've seen it because it seemed like it was like a DVD um, extra. It was it was you and McGregor for episode three talking about how they tried to match his. You know, cadence mm-hmm. and, and body language to to uh, what little material there was. Mm-hmm. And one thing they did point out, and I've noticed it before that, like he wears a hairpiece in in episode four, and every scene is different. Yeah. It's like it's impossible. <laughs> to go. It's like it's like they showed a picture like it's on upside down, or not upside down. It's it's backwards in this before, one shot. Before digital yeah. technology, like man. when he when <laughs> no he corrections. when he takes off his hood, it's just fucking wild. <laughs> and then later, it's coming yeah. to the. It's yeah. no, there's no no consistency yeah. with that. That's but for sure. I'll send this to you. I've got them. What were you going to say about Doctor Strange? So Doctor Strange, uh, the vibe I get from the stuff I've seen is Derrickson is formerly a horror director, and he wanted to push this one really far into a horror direction, and Marvel said no. Mm. So A horror direction? Horror. Horror. Because he's known previously (sighs) before the first Doctor Strange is doing horror films, and that's kind of what he wanted to do. I think – Fine. Yeah, it's still supposed to be their scariest. Yeah, that's – yeah. I have a feeling that the, the big bad is going to be Nightmare, which I'm hopeful for. Yeah, so, that makes sense. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. And and Scar- um, <laughs> what's it? WandaVision is supposed to lead into it. So I'm I have a feeling it's supposed that, to tie into it also. Is it? Okay. Yeah. So I'm hoping Wanda will kind of go off the rails and they'll have to deal with her as a um, very yeah. powerful. I'm, I'm excited about the WandaVision thing. Yeah. Um, Birds of Confusion. <laughs> did, did did anybody watch the Birds of Prey? Yeah, I did. Trailer. I, I've not seen the new one. Do do I need to watch it? It shows it? McGregor I put on the real the mask it. for black for black. Mask. I don't understand it. I don't. Under- so Harley teams up with the Birds of Prey to take on Black Mask and um, what's her name Montoya from the police force. And the Birds of Prey, yeah, is Montoya, Black Canary, Cassandra Kane. Yeah, and um, and. Uh, uh, what's her name? Huntress. Huntress. And Huntress. I don't know about this one. Yeah. I will definitely want to see it, but I mean, I'll, I'll I will go see it. Yeah. But I don't like Suicide Squad, and this is like yeah, this feels like it's that, Suicide Squad. And, yeah, it does. It's got, it's got the same hopes. Harley in it. Yeah, mm-hmm. but I like her in Suicide Squad. Yeah, yeah she's good as that character. She's great. I'm I'm interested in seeing Heathens. McGregor as Black Mask. I'm waiting on the soundtrack with bated breath. And, uh, <laughs> I love the Suicide Squad soundtrack. And, uh, some more. Uh, what's that? And what's Mary that? Elizabeth Winstead playing. G-Eazy. Was that the guy? The white guy? That's like yeah, a, he's on one of the songs. <laughs> uh, Rick Ross song goes hard, though. Yeah, uh, the purple purple Lambo. Or and it's actually not Lambo in the movie. <laughs> I want to see Winstead do Huntress. I think she'll do a good job. I don't know, man. But the costume looks... I mean, their costume is... They're just giving her like a motorcycle jacket. Not a real Huntress costume. Yeah, well, nobody's getting a real costume. No. Not even even Harley. Like nobody's getting a real costume. She puts on a rampa. The mask looks interesting. For I don't know if it'll be a digital effect when he's actually wearing it or not. Yeah, or black mask. They haven't showed much of him. No, but this is the first trailer where they show him put the mask. Right, on, but so. they, but you don't get to see anything after that. Yeah, yeah really. Um, all right, so we got a couple questions. Tyler L. 
question from my favorite Star Wars podcast. <laughs> he said, that? question time again from my state favorite Star Wars He said, who failed the hardest? The Praetorian Guard, the Knights of Ren, or Jedi in episode three? <laughs> <laughs> or, oh, man. Or feel free to write in. Um, I don't think the Jedi failed the hardest. Three. To be fair, because Palpatine is a Sith Lord. That they're not fucking were not prepared for at all. Yeah, and especially seeing him in that. Which seems but what really does that? OP, you know. But what does that say about them as a Society. order yeah. that they couldn't sense this evil that was right beside? They weren't them. very good. They fucking sucked. If you watch off Clone Wars and all the fucking first movies again, they were not very well, good. They just had a good name. They, yeah. they they were living off the glory of the past. Right, like, and when they went down to the fucking. Uh, the war uh, well, is it Genosha? Well, yeah, but not only that. I mean, but they had and they just got fucking slaughtered. Yes, yeah. but but they like had droids? veered off the path. Yeah, yeah. That's that, 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 like, that to me is the most important thing about it. Is like the whole philosophy had been fucked. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They're living off of the, the of the past. They're, it, they're not who they were before. So and it's, it's, and they way. became something like not worse, just skill wise, but mind state for yeah. a lot mentally. Like the whole everything is down. The whole thing had. Gone in a shit direction, yep. and and to see in other parts of this world as they keep building it, in like um, we've talked about this before, like the end of episode eight, those kids are playing Luke Skywalker, but it's just like a myth to them, right? It's yeah, just like it's, it's a story. Yeah, and and then in the Mandalorian, you know, you get some of that, like people never heard of the Jedi, right, 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 Jedi, right, right, ancient right. ancient race that fought with us or whatever. So it's just interesting in the the perspective of everything to to people that weren't in the mix there. So so we remove or we re- you're removing them? Yeah, I don't think I don't, I don't think I it's agree. fair. I agree. So I don't think I don't I mean, they got think, slaughtered, but it's not fair. I'm going to say the Knights of Ren is the the So I'm going to say here. the Praetorian Guard. Really? Yeah, only because their their entire purpose it seems like was to protect Snoke. And they I, terribly failed with that. <laughs> Well, at least we get a cool fight scene out of it, whereas no, no, the no, Knights no. of Ren is like trash. So, 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 so that's a different argument, right? So, if 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 the if the conversation was who is most trash, <laughs> okay, Knights, Knights of Ren wins. Well, what was their okay? So, what was their purpose? Then? What's so? I don't know what the Knights of Ren purpose was. So. The, they just they the, didn't write in enough. There were a lot of right. things. That's my complaint. Sell some a lot pops. Of things and nine digital was just thrown in. Yeah, I'm like, okay, they're there, and that's all I know. They're fucking there. Yeah. But I think the the purpose of the Praetorian Guard was to protect Snoke. Well, looking at it from that point of view strictly, then the obviously, well, I mean, the Jedi I mean, failed as well, it. though. I mean, but they did not the defend pra- the the Praetorian yeah. Guard. Could not have if that's what they were what supposed to do. Was, it was very happenstance. Yeah, how, yeah, no, how no, no. Change the saber. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, very I, cleverly. Done. I, I get it. I get it. But I, I, I feel like if Snoke couldn't see it, so if, how could they see it? If so, but here's the thing: if if so, if the role of the of the Jedi at that time were to be peacekeepers, mm-hmm. like Palpatine was doing what he was doing under the guise of being a peacekeeper, yeah. so I can excuse the the Jedi for failing because everything that he was doing was in the name of peace. Mm-hmm. You know, um, I think the Praetorian Guard. So, of the three, I think the Praetorian Guard are the coolest, <laughs> and simultaneously, I think that they failed the hardest because. They had – you had one – just like you had one <laughs> you job. Had one job. Yeah. You, you had, had one, one job. job. Um, we, well, well, then – okay. So their loyalty is to the throne or to, was it to Snoke? Because I, Snoke dies and, I mean, your loyalty should roll to the next person. So I guess to Snoke. I guess. It's the only way I could, you know. Are we, are we, we can just talk about everything now, right? Yeah. No spoiler. Whatever. No, yeah. Spoiler. So, like, if Snoke was just, like, a, a fucking bathtub, baby, <laughs> who – like, who, who are the Praetorian Guards even? Did, were they assigned? Leave my mama out of this. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> bathtub baby is such a great exaggeration of chest tube baby. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, we, <laughs> we saw a tub of of Snoke's. Yeah, and yeah. which had no explanation, of course. Tub. No, it's, I mean, well, no, he says, it, he says I made Snoke. Was it a? Yeah, was yeah, he's but, been making yeah, them. But. So, like, so where tub, did the Praetorian Guard fits in that hierarchy? Did he? Were they assigned to Snoke, or like, did Snoke personally pick them? Who the fuck? Knows? Yeah, 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 someone get Pablo Hidalgo on the phone. And yeah, can explain this. Or, or it's uh, probably in a book over there. Yeah, probably. Yeah, the Praetorian Guards were handpicked for their uh, spelt. Should backside. I get it out? Let's get it out. Oh, are, uh, where are these people now? Yeah. Oh, sp- speaking of which, did you want to talk about the Golden Globes at all since Joker won? No. Okay. I will say, if you have not listened to Ricky Gervais' speech, it's, it's well worth great. it. It's great. Yeah, it, yes. it is yeah. wild. I love, I love it. Amazing. 
He's it amazing. He's, you think he's gonna get invited back again? No, he's he he said he's like this is it now. I mean, he did a bunch of them, right? He did like five. Yeah, I think. five. Here we go. Uh, right. Here we referencing go. Referencing the visual. The Praetorian oh, Guard are a bold example of an imperial symbol reimagined, distorted, and I don't know that word by the First Order. <laughs> <laughs> These elite <laughs> sentinels stand watch over Supreme Leader Snoke's throne room aboard his flagship. Their brilliant red uniforms are a deliberate echo from those of the Emperor Palpatine's Royal Guard. But the some other word I don't know of the robes has been swept aside <laughs> Joe, to allow Joe an unhindered Martins. view of precision machined combat armor. The Praetorians are the ultimate closed circle guard eschewing ranged weaponry. They are the last line of defense protecting Snoke, ready to destroy any threat that would dare penetrate so deeply into the First Order's heart. Now, back so, to the book to Joe. He's going to read the words you don't know. Yeah, no. <laughs> hey, pa- Pablo, chill out with the vocab, man. Yeah, really. You don't need to prove anything to anybody, all right? You're fine. <laughs> and that's um, the last of the decent-sized visual dictionaries we'll ever get. <laughs> yeah, because they change scale, right? That's yeah. so dumb. Yeah. I'm mad at that. Yeah, me Maybe too. It's like... Time making a so yeah, video. I mean, it seems like I, I would say my vote would be for Praetorian Guard. Ultimately, they're my favorite of those three. Well, I, I like the Jedi probably, but they're my. I, pref- <laughs> I like the Jedi. I, I like probably. the Knights too. I don't know. I, I, I think the Knights are the hardest because I don't even know who the fuck they are. I don't know. I feel like they captured Chewie. Like the Praetorian Guard didn't do shit but lose. They did pretty good. Yeah, no, they 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 tried. They gave it their they, like. Even they're all after Snoke. Yeah, they gave, they gave I mean, what they like, had. Nobody else gave them as the run for their money as much as they did. Yeah, that's that true. Like, think of any other fights they were in. Yeah, no, 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 no. They they held their own, but I mean, like, they just did it too late. Kylo handled <laughs> yeah. the knights by himself pretty easily. Yeah, well, he had to be uh, force skyped. The uh, <laughs> <laughs> is that a, is that a term now? It, 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 it something Adam said, I think. Hashtag force skype. Um, so I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I, I feel like they are. They failed the most. Uh, maybe, maybe the Jedi. I don't. One of the two. I think the Knights of Ren are kind of innocent because we just don't know what the fuck they were supposed to do. Or maybe they didn't have to do anything, so they didn't fail. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They didn't have any responsibilities. <laughs> it's like Boba Fett. It's like well, he, uh, somebody hit his jetpack by accident. He fell into this all like pit, the sand vagina monster. <laughs> so uh, I don't know. I, I, my vote is for Praetorian Guard. I think that's what my gut tells me. Uh, let's see what else. Um, oh, Michael T, Maryland guy. He said, why can't they get it right? I feel statues and figures just can't quite capture Carrie Fisher's likeness. What do you think that is? Why do you think that is? And what other people's likenesses are impossible to capture to you? I also think the movies are zero for two on CGI Princess Leia. I know Lucas gets flack for special editions, but if they eventually can improve on it, what would would you be okay with special editions of Rogue One and Episode Nine? Keep it tight. Um, so I disagree. Like I think that that Hot Toys Leia right there that they fucking nailed it. Her? Yeah. Um, I also think that the Episode Eight Leia Hot Toys they fucking nailed it. Uh, the one yeah, that I, one. Yeah, yeah I like, think that one more. Yeah, so than this like, one. I think both though. Like I, no, I, they're both good. Yeah, like mm. I don't. To me, it's Hamill. Yeah, what, what's they just like that? can't they get can't that get dude. He looks right. different yeah. in every fucking well, I mean, like because he, he looks different in every fucking movie anyway. Well, that too, but uh, like trash bag Hamill and um and and old man Hamill are are by far the two most accurate Hot Toys Luke Skywalkers that I have seen. What about Teethy McGillicuddy over here? <laughs> no, you talking about Teeth Murray? <laughs> <laughs> He's the most beautiful thing in the world, Bobby. <laughs> you talking about Teeth or Sutherland? Um, <laughs> no, no, it, it, and like the the crate Luke is off, the New Hope Luke is off, the Jedi, the the Return of the Jedi Luke is off. Like he is the one that I feel like they struggle with the most. Carrie, I feel like at least we have a few that are well done. Mm-hmm. Um, and I and I, I disagree. I like I like I humbly disagree. There is something jarring about her in episode nine when she moves in one sequence and it's like one of the first sequences you see her in but i think overall it's done pretty well i think he's probably talking about the uh, the flashback well, where even that i feel like is done okay i think it, i think it works um like and that's the one where they got her daughter to carrie fisher's daughter to stand in yeah yeah yeah, yeah 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 and and I'm, the, the, i'm sorry the stuff in rogue one i'm 
I'd be, I would be interested to see how many normies even realize that CGI. I agree. But now let Same me also uncanny yeah. value is, is something off. But like I've said that since we watched Rogue One, since yeah, the yeah, discussion yeah. that like it is possible. You, you can go back and just fucking redo it. But just and why not if you can do it better? So to your point, I'm okay with special editions of all this shit. Like you just put faces on things, but uh, <laughs> like <laughs> you can just put faces on people who aren't famous. It's fine. But I feel like if if they released like when they do this 4K set or whatever it is next year. If there's little alterations to all of them, you won't hear a peep out of me. Like I, I kind of think number with an alien creature. N- n- little alterations. <laughs> um, like like I, I, like I kind of want I kind of want Star Wars to continue that. Where like every time it comes out, you want to watch it again because there's like little changes. There's like little something new here and there. Yeah, I, and I, I mean, I'd love to see some of the other footage that from Rogue One. I like what that mm-hmm. was going to eventually mm-hmm. be. You know, Saw didn't have the crazy hair. What, what I'm. Sh- that stuff's intriguing. I mean, your video kind of turned yeah. me on that. That's intriguing to me to see with that. I'd be more interested in that than them going back and fish, fix, fixing some CGI. Uh, questionable CGI, depending on who you're asking. Yeah, no, they, I agree. They, I'll tell you what, they need to go back and fix that fucking Star Trek The Next Generation. <laughs> some rough ass <laughs> effects in that. So, as I said, in like 90s. Oh, yeah, I, like I know, I know, but it needs to be updated. <laughs> Originally, like, uh, you know, there was there were <laughs> shots of some of Saul's crew making it off of that planet and mm-hmm. then ending up at Scarif. Like, yeah, yeah, give me yeah, like two, two tubes, tubes on, on Scarif, on the beach, please. <laughs> two tubes, two, two, give me two tubes anywhere, anywhere. Both two tubes in my <laughs> detox. Tubes. Give me two tubes in my detox <laughs> digitally. Um, <laughs> what if what if that's <laughs> the next thing you can DMs. buy? You can buy a disc, Bobby. You put it in that in that detox shelf, and it. You've got a digital hologram of two tubes. Dude, I'm, if, if that's what I got to settle for, that's, <laughs> that's what and I got to settle You for. can adjust the size to 6 inch or 12 <laughs> so to speak. Uh, and Paul C. said, sorry for the lack of questions this year. Oh, Paul C. Oh, ah, slacker. You guys seem to be recording earlier in the week now, so it's we throwing me Saturday off my schedule. Nights. Here's the one I had planned to do for the first show of the year. Now that we're in a new decade, let's do some reflecting. What is something from the past decade that never expected to take off happen, but are now happy that it did? Uh, or what is something that from the past decade you never expected to take off slash happen, but are now happy that it did? What's something from the last decade that you are most proud of doing? Just to keep things interesting, let's assume that all children, weddings, all already on this list. Sorry, Joe. What's the next thing down? What is the NRR ism that took in the last decade that tickles you when someone else does it? Uh, what's something that you predict will happen in the next decade, NRR related or otherwise? Twenty eight questions. Um, he's making up for lost time. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, we we bought this house in the last decade. You know, I uh, my house next to you in the last decade. Yeah, I put on additions and you know finished rooms in the last decade. Several. Yeah, uh, you know, I built Skullface in the last decade. I, you know, all that shit is in the last decade. So like, there's a lot of that that you know is is big. You know, aside from kids and all that shit. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, that would, I mean, that would probably be my answer. What about you? for that for that specific question? What about you guys? Uh, I mean, uh, mine was moving to Maryland. Yeah, I mean, just you know, having the. Having the faith in myself to uh, pick up and move, you know, 12 hours away. Um, it's a big step. Yeah, it's a big so, move. Buying um, a router, probably number two. I don't know if that's <laughs> even on there, man. <laughs> Phil? Uh, definitely meeting all of you guys. Mm. Getting, getting to know everybody in the community. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's big. Um, yeah, it's kind of wrapped up in... Um, my answer as well just like this community mm. um i mean you know me i'm i'm kind of that loner that's just off and even in this community i'm still kind of that way but you're that asshole on <laughs> on facebook so you are <laughs> <laughs> at least y'all know it it's from the heart <laughs> true 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 but um you know like skull fest mm. it, like, it it does feel weird to me coming to a place where there's so many people and it's like i don't feel like i have to fight I don't feel like I have to be, <laughs> right. you know, angry. I come in and it's all love. Right, right, right. So I, th- this definitely um, is something that within the last decade that you, you made a big difference in, you know, just my direction in general. Hmm. Um, 
Yeah. I mean, the whole jujitsu shit is within the last decade. It, like, it is, but in this, kind of, I mean, they kind of almost were like parallel. Mm. Um, I mean, even with the jujitsu stuff um, being high up there, um, you know, I, I'm, I'd still, that's more of a personal um, thing within, you know, my own little bubble. Um, this is more outward. Right. right and right. I, I guess, you know, even with jujitsu, with doing BJJ Wiki, um, Facebook and Instagram, you know, I, I've made uh, friendships through, mm-hmm. through that, but those aren't friendships where I feel like, you know, I, I you know, I will get together with them and feel like, right. you know, there's a connection. But I think it's been an outlet. I think it's been a healthy outlet for you energy wise. Oh, for sure. You for know? sure. Um, I, I think that's th- this past week, uh, really this this year basically mm. you know since 2020 has begun i've been in kind of a, a small depression mm. i think a big part of that is with the move of the new location and the schedule change there i haven't trained I, mm. i've trained twice mm. since you know this calendar year has started and I, i've been struggling right um you know the last especially the last week i've just been in a really just bad place um, yeah, you gotta find a way to make that shit work, man. But, you know, that that's you know they they flip that schedule, and that's like I, I looking at how it's written, I get it, and and, and also with the coach and the kids, mm-hmm. that's that's uh, going a long way. Like I, I got a uh, text from my coach this morning, um, and his his uh, fiance, and it's all like, you would have been so proud of the kids last night. You know, they did great this morning. They looked great, but what's messed up about the new schedule? Is on Wednesdays when I would be normally coaching everyone, they're doing Muay Thai now, and that's not not my area mm-hmm. to coach. So all Jiu Jitsu's on Tuesday and Thursday, and I can't make those. So and and that was something that kind of bumped me on Wednesday. I, I found that out the day of, right? Just well because the way the schedule was written, we didn't see it that way. Mm. And then we find out, oh no, they're doing Muay Thai tonight, and everyone was kind of in shock, like, oh wow, so. Just plummeting, but um, jujitsu has been a, a healthy outlet for me, um, and a big change this past decade. But I feel like, like I said, even with this community, I feel like, like I belong. Mm. Like when I'm doing jujitsu, I, I do have that imposter syndrome. Like I'm there doing the stuff, and I think I get away with it because I'm athletic. Mm. You know, I, I'm strong. You know, and it's like, oh, you know, you you're good at this. <laughs> Until you start really reading between the lines, it's like I'm not terrible. But is it something that I, you know, can maintain that mm-hmm. illusion? Like within this community, it's like I get to just be me mm-hmm. and people accept me for being me versus, you know, anywhere else. It's like, oh, cool. You're a blue belt. So it's like, you're saying shit. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Why don't we just go on the mat and not talk? Let's just grapple and I'll show you what I know. Right. Um, no, yeah, I, that's cool. I'll, I'll piggyback on you on I already answered, but, you know, finding the realm guys and then leading them to find him, you know, Bobby and, and just to continue with the realm, just to, all my friends are from this fucking community around fucking buying action figures. It's spawned yeah. into the psychotic <clears throat> world we live in now. Yeah. Um, I don't really talk to anybody that's not plugged in other than work shit, which right. I kind of have to. Yeah. And I got a couple of friends here and there from, you know, back in the day, other jobs, but pretty much everybody I talk to is, in this community it's almost it's weird not that i've done it this way intentionally but it's like if you're not grappling or collecting i i don't really have much to say you don't have anything in common to talk yeah. to people i mean like, i'm the same way like I, I i love football i haven't watched football with uh my one buddy in two years and you know i was thinking like shit the super bowl you know what am i doing because every year we watch Super Bowl together. Mm-hmm. Last year was on my anniversary, so you know we didn't last year, and I feel like this year we probably won't either. But I think again, why'd you get married on Super Bowl Sunday? <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, it's because you love nachos, right? Hey, who like does Super Bowl used to be the last right. Sunday of January, and then nine eleven happened, and all that got bumped. Yeah, and I trust me, I wouldn't have planned my my anniversary around that. <laughs> I was like, hey, let, let's get married on, you let's know. Let's just fuck Super Bowl for the rest of our lives. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's like every seven years, I'm fucked. Mm. House was yours, Joe? Or I, have more? A, I have a lot of shit happened this year. Yeah, talk year. about I, it. I graduated pharmacy school. Mm. Got a real, that's, that's a real job yeah. making real money. Yeah. I had, I had my first house. 
just agree. slapping. You're the third person tonight to knock over a <laughs> I'm bottle. Leave it. Um, I'm yeah. the only one drinking. I haven't knocked over shit. I just want to put that out there. You don't want to have a bottle, though. You... I got a glass. And, and a box. box. And a box. You hadn't had to milk it tonight, though. <laughs> Come on, Betsy. Come on, Betsy. Give no, a she little wine out. squirt. She out. Yeah, well, my first house. This is now my third house. Yeah. So moving wow. up here was big. Fucking, I started working out at this past decade. Really? Yeah. yeah. I didn't wow. start till like 2013. Didn't start lifting till then. Wow. A lot of changes. That's crazy. Yeah, I, of, of all the decades in my life, this past, the, the, the 2010s has been the most change I've had. Painful. Yeah. In our R isms, um, I don't know. I feel like there's, uh, you know, there's stuff out there, but I, I don't know if it catches on. You know, like, I, 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 I would say it's trash, that being in the public vernacular. And I know, yeah. you, I mean, you, you first time I heard it really was from you, but I know it came from Budden. Yeah. So, and that's pretty much like everybody I know says that now. Yeah. But I mean, you were, I think, in the community that you yeah. started saying that. Yeah. Um, I think, uh, like, when I hear, uh, every now and then I hear people say, I don't want to cut you off. I'll let you finish. You know, like and that. So, like, to, so, so to, speak. to speak. Yeah. Um, what does that mean? <laughs> I get that every now and then. Would you just say what you mean? I, I hear people say sometimes, like, that's not how, uh, like, f- turns of phrase work. And, like, you don't know how so to speak works. <laughs> um, <laughs> but whatever. Um, yeah, little stuff like that. I don't know. Uh, and then at the next decade, I don't know. Is that, what, do you, what do you see in R in five years? <laughs> yeah, I don't <laughs> know. I mean, to- probably more uh, Marvel shit, I guess. Um, hopefully DC can get their shit together. Uh, I, 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 this last Star Wars note that we're going to get to here in a second, hopefully that will fucking allow people to either just fucking get off the boat or bring people together. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I, I know that I, I, I worry sometimes about my interest and some of this stuff as time moves on. Uh, like, for instance, like Marvel. If they don't introduce the X-Men. They will. In 10, if in ten years' time? Soon. Because uh, the Eternals is not going to do it. Yeah. But I think they will try to do the Fantastic Four first. Yeah, and they may not do it either. I think we could get a hint of it, though, with WandaVision going into... Doctor Strange Multiverse yeah. of Madness. I think we may not get a full introduction, but that may lay the groundwork for it. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Um, I mean, they seem to be people who plan ahead, so. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I think te- technology might have something to do. Because, like, who knows where technology is going to be in the next 10 that's, years. That's interesting. Like, it might be different. Like, just how, like, you know, we stream stuff now versus. Do you think the movie versus- theater will be around in 10 years? I mean, it's it's still popular. Things are still making billion dollars. Yeah, it's, you know, it's definitely cheap. changing right now. I mean, if you would ask me, if you would ask me ten years ago, I probably would have said no. But I think it's a different environment now. Yeah, I mean, I think it's more diners than, and the fucking diners and the yeah, fucking, like. The, you know, let, dinner let, movie let, me, let me ask you this: If let me, what what is the movie? What does the movie theater industry look like if? If tomorrow Disney Plus says nope, everything's going directly to us, exclusively to us, period. Yeah, then they're pretty much fucked. Yeah. I mean, that's are they the only ones making billion dollars, right? Uh, I mean, like, if you look at like the top twenty movies last year, I think probably fifteen of them are Buena Vista or, or Disney yeah. properties. But like, there's still mo- movies coming out. People watch them. They might not there, be, I mean, I, is it enough to sustain that industry though? Yeah, that's like thing. when it used to be popcorn and soda, and now you can get pretzel bites and pizza. Right. I mean, I stopped going to theater like 10, 10 15 years ago. Right. And you can sit in I a used recliner. To go like a regular person. Yeah. Well, now you that's a awesome. lot of places are doing the full yeah. the full course meal and and booze at. But that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, can that industry be supported with 1917? And 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 I'm not knocking 1917. It seems to be a great movie. I'm going to watch it 100. I'm going to see it tomorrow. But can the movie industry be supported? Entirely, wh- how it is now with recliner seats and people getting served dinner and booze and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Can 1917 support that? With 1917 being the cream of the crop amongst yeah. the non the non super nerd, nerd stuff. Yeah, yeah. Well, and that's the thing. So if you look at if you look at the movie industry prior to the past ten years, there weren't there was a superhero movie occasionally. But it wasn't the bread and butter of the of the, the cinema. Right. So, and once again, I said if you had asked me ten years ago, before the probably twelve. When did Iron Man come out? Ten years. Eleven years. Eight. Two thousand. Okay. 
whatever around that pocket. Yeah, you know, I probably would have said that the the cinema would be dead. But if you look at what impact that those Marvel movies and in the DC movies and and um, you know the Star Wars movies have done to for the box office. I think in ten years we'll see streaming services. All streaming services will own their own content, and that'll be the end of it. And and I th- I think um, it depends. It depends on how VR and AR take off, and how the technology gets. Like theater cannot compete with a comfortable VR set. No fucking way. I don't think or you'll an implant. see stuff like uh, hmm? necessarily like 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 Netflix. Anymore, like, and I think Netflix by the end of 2030, everything on Netflix will be Netflix original content. Yeah, it's getting I think there now. The TV yeah. industry will more than likely collapse first, just Hopefully. because that's probably everyone. Good. Is, I mean, that's probably the well, everyone's truth. going to their own streaming. So, yeah. like, CBS is already there. Yep. Yeah. Which I, like, I, I'd like to check out the Twilight Zone, mm-hmm. but I'm not paying 5.99 a month mm-hmm. to watch that. Mm-hmm. But there are. But there are people that that love CBS, and once you know that goes away, it's like okay, we'll continue to pay. NBC is next; they're, they're already pulling their stuff from Netflix, <laughs> and ABC they do it for free right now to an extent. Like if you have a cable subscription, which I don't, but I use Winners, mm-hmm. um, <laughs> and I watch all their ESPN content, you know, all right. all of that content there. But I think a lot of these networks are moving in that direction. So that'll collapse probably first, and then movies will slowly follow suit. I, yeah, I don't think I don't know how sustainable it is with a with everyone being able to share at least some accounts, right? You can't share with everybody, even if they limit to to like four screens or whatever. There's still four people in one account, and B, it's like the Patreon thing when when you were like, well, if YouTube cr- crashes, all these people want to make their own Patreon. It's like, well, you only got so many dollars to spend. Right, Each, right, right. And your fans is also fans of somebody else's. Right. Who's going to pay you right. money? Is, is someone going to pay Netflix or fucking CNBC or whatever it is? It's going to come down to what you can offer, though. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. I, and I don't think network television can offer the same shit as Disney Plus or <clears throat> right. Netflix or Hulu or whatever. Right, well... I, so but they will fucking die. I think that'll be... To me, that'll be the most interesting thing to look back on, you know, in the next decade is how the streaming services move because right now i feel like it's creator own it's coc creator own content mm. like that's the name of the game mm. bold prediction flip phones are coming back i'm considering going to a flip phone i don't yeah. i don't blame it's you it's gonna come back hard i don't blame you no we'll all have an ipad and then get all shit. Yeah. exactly yeah. implants yeah and implants um and then our last note for the night is uh this star wars bit luminous project luminous so this Thing She's started dead. started surfacing about a month ago. Project Luminous. And oh, I thought you were talking about the Jedi. No, no, no. So it was supposed to be the next big Star Wars project, and it has now come out. Screen Rant, which is the note that you shared, says mm-hmm. it set. Uh, so it says it says the setting of the new series of Star Wars movies has reportedly been revealed to be 400 years before the Skywalker saga, which is what I heard as well. Sounds good. Now I heard that from making Star Wars. Oh, wow. Now it says in here. For the last 42 years – oh, okay. I, I just misread it. So, yeah. So, that's so that's after the Old Republic. That's after Knights of the Old Republic. It's, it's, between, it's a very different time. It's a very different time. So, it, so how far back is Knights of the Old Republic? A thousand. Is it a thousand years? I, think it's a thousand. I don't know. But it's a sweet spot where like, they're not going to trample on Knights of the Old Republic, which is a worry so, of some. Right. It's much beloved. So, they can kind of keep that lore as legends. Yeah. Uh-huh. But still in a time period where there's not really any lore they can work so, with. So, well, um, does this mean they, they start showing the shift from the Jedi from the original the original concept to change not, the philosophy? No, this would be okay. Okay. this would be way after. Way after okay, okay. Yeah. I, I, so I is, there, yeah. is there anything in canon? Like who, who's nope, the... Nope, it's completely I, uncharted. It's a clean slate. It's okay. great. I didn't know if there was a, a Darth someone peppered in around that I'm time. Sure yeah. It somebody. might be Bane. I don't know That's who Bane is. Because hmm. Bane is after the Old Republic. After Can Revan. he break Batman's back? Bane is after Revan? <laughs> The Bane fire rises. rises. Yeah, yeah. Are, are you going to show? Is, are you going to show path, Bane the, killing the, all all of the Siths? The dark side is the pathway. <laughs> but that, uh-huh. the Clone Wars kind of showed that. What's that? Showing Bane killing all the other Siths and establishing the rule of two. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, like that would be cool. I, like I would be in for a Bane being the main antagonist. But I'm also in for them just coming up. From something scratch. new. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm in for I, that. I don't I need it tied. To, and, and and I think that's a good. But spot Bane to isn't be in. tied to anything. 
I mean, he's right. known. He, he's, I'm just he, saying he, he he's in, in his spirit. It wasn't Clone Wars. He's in. Yeah, he's but, in the in the wind there. I'm just saying if they come up with brand new stuff, because yeah, you already know his story. When, kind of. When when's the the time of Plagueis supposedly? It would be after. right. It would be right, right before. before oh, okay. Right before the prequels. Okay. Um, I I know just for my own sanity, I rather than just go clean slate nothing. Mm-hmm. Just because I, I, I still ha- I still have people that you know if you mention anything from any of the books, yeah, you know any yeah. tiny thing, and then it, it's bitch about this, whine about that, complain about that, and it's like look, I'm just, just happy it would be away from four five six man. That's all yeah. I care about. It's yeah, like, just don't get away from four five. Don't mess with that. Just you know do some new stuff, and and you know this is a new generation coming up. Let them now grow with something. Yeah, have new. their own Like, stars. there's so much. We have so much for 4, 5, 6. Like, I don't feel like... I don't feel the need for anything. You know, mm-hmm. we, we never seen, like... Like, Jedi's at their height. This could be a movie that shows how great the Jedi was, and w- which would be so much more tragic to watch the, these nine movies again and seeing how far they're falling. And theoretically, like, the Sith... Because I had to watch episode one again and see like like because they, they talk about the Sith being gone for so long. Mm-hmm. I mean, it was after the rule of two was established and the the, the two would hide. Right. So, so that's why they can't get them no more. So I wonder like how that lines up though. Like, does this take place? Do you know what I'm saying? Like, because they couldn't be on the Jedi's radar if it took place within this pocket. Depending mm-hmm. on what he's saying, episode one of it's like, well, for the last 500 years, I was like, wait a minute, 400 years ago. Sith, <laughs> you know what I mean? Then we can't have the Sith. Mm. You know, so like there would be. But I mean, like it's a, a gray area, right? Because like, I mean, even if we we talk about now, we talk about something four or five hundred years ago is a good guess at best. Right, right. That's true. That's true. But the only difference is Yoda has been alive for nine hundred years. Yeah. So Yoda would be five hundred, which would be Middle Ages. Yeah. So be like, no, I remember. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> <trying> to remember. <laughs> So he would be in, in middle, I mean, you can see a Yoda in, 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 in this, technically speaking. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like yeah, young, yeah, 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 Younger, yeah, yeah, yeah. younger That's Yoda. True. That's true. I'm, I'm, I don't know if I'm okay with that. Because I want a clean slate, but it would be kind of cool to see a younger Yoda. See, I, I feel like they're going to have some ties. I'm okay with it. And I'm okay with Bane. I don't, I feel like Bane is enough removed. He is in the books. He does have three books about him or two books. I started are they, are reading one of them. And yeah. no, Legends. Legends, which is part of the problem. Like I started yeah. reading one of them. It's like I, I'm not. He's I, got like a female apprentice. I couldn't tell you. <laughs> I read seven pages. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And with that, let's give a shout out to the rest of Sophie the. Sophie would like to say hello. Oh, well, please do. Hi. 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 And uh, see, no rage for the kids. <laughs> um, <laughs> Don't let your children. <laughs> uh, shout out to I the rest of the stay. Cool Table Network. We have Shattercast Uncut, End of the Realm, Stasis Lock, uh, Toy Detox, Building Up to It, Fresh Communications, Verbally Challenged, and Breaking the Mold. And do you have any? How did your diorama thing go? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I forgot to mention. Uh, please refer to me as. Diorama Grand Champion. Oh, congratulations. Oh, congrats. Can yeah, you say so, congratulations? Oh, yeah. Did you, did you win anything? I won a prize pack from another diorama creator. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Um, yeah, it's like 20% of the vote. Nice. Wow, yeah, that's nice. sweet. Nice. So, you're welcome. Yeah, um, thanks for the push, guys. <laughs> and uh, shout out to the rest of the Nerd Rage team. <laughs> we have we have most of them here, but we have Raul doing our Instagram, and we have Manny, who I still need to get in contact with. You've been saying that for like fucking three Yeah, months. I know. I'm terrible. And we have Gort and Andy helping me with four stuff. And also, uh, uh, the other Star Wars person. Esteban. Yeah, Esteban. Doing Esteban. Esteban. Yeah. Esteban. Yeah. And I, I fucked up. It's. Gort that does the sensitive information. Yes. <laughs> Don't mix it up. So okay, fuck that, that up. They've been posting some cool shit there. Yeah, but they have the been. Yeah. They've been doing a great job, those yeah. two. Yeah. Like like the one about Luke walking in. That yes. was like, fuck. Right? I've never caught that. Dude, that dude Ryan Johnson, I'm telling you, man, it's not it's like I hope I'm alive when people realize his contribution to that fucking saga. I, yeah, I wish he did it's, it's called Knives Out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um and is that it? Is that it? I sure. want to make sure that's not it. But if if I didn't mention you, I love you. You know I do. It's just been three hours, and this baby needs to go home and get some sleep. It's ten thirty five p.m. Um, yeah. With that being said, Flappy Labius, wax buttholes, velvety vagina, tasty taint, tight dick player. <laughs>